Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. Yeah. And on this After Dark, we are going to play some classic 2600 games, specifically from the sixth part of 1983, which is Amazing. October to December. Amazing. Of 1983, rounding off our 1983 mm. tour of 2600 games. We are back. We are. Um, so we've got a good number of games here. Let me just go over some stats. We have now played 341 Atari 2600 games. Wow. In the After Dark. Really? 341? Yes. Wow. Uh, we'll be playing 28 today, mm -hmm. leaving about 90 games to play when we come back after vacation. So it's up to you whether we play all 90 in one day or we do it on the 10th and 11th. It's about nine hours. We're going to only have two days to do them all? Yes. Is that, is that a weekend? Yes. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was ah, going to say I would bah. do it in three because 30 a day, 30 a session is fine. But if right. it's the weekend, that's not so bad. It's not yeah. so bad. Yeah, yeah. not bad yeah. at all. So I'll leave it up to you whether you want to do it all in one day and just oh, get it done. I, I would probably do it in two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one is a lot, but we'll see. We'll see yeah. what we feel up to. So I think the 11th is a Sunday, so it'll be Saturday, Sunday. Gotcha. That kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, some notes from last time. Actually, uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. who are down mm -hmm. the side, left-hand side of your screen, right-hand side of your screen. Uh, Arkham H7, Arms Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck, Owens, Captain Man 2D, Carlos Majuka, Charles Wynn, Coconut 81, Colonel Lama, Cuban is Modianoid, Dan Dr. Mookaz, Gopher Man, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, I Steel Newspapers, Johnny W. Sue, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, K KV8080, Larn TD, Zed Marco, Johannes, Mark Space, Hick McMuse, Mike Soul, Mick Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnazoo, Zarnazoo, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fun, Sir Packer, RVG, Coral Gar, 70 R Anschwitz, our rendered ghost for Penless VD, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Mm -hmm. Smitty B, Spice, where Esser Mayor is the D Twain Welsh Man, Tiki Dan K, T Fos, TM Events, Trek MD 2600, X Ken X, and I didn't see Drexel's name. <gasps> Drexel. Darcy. Get on it. Oh. <laughs> I thought he said he subscribed before he came to the last show, so it's weird that it's not Maybe on there. he accidentally uh, hit the wrong button. Maybe, Maybe he subscribed to your biggest competitor instead of, I don't know. <sighs> One page homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> First page homebrew. And thank you to Carl G, Dan ABC, and KV8080 who subscribed um, before the show, last show. Mm. Dedication. Lol. Yeah. 28 times 540 minutes. If we keep on it. If we keep on it, Vitoko. we keep this intro that short. That is the theory. <laughs> um, so some notes from last stream. Some people pointed out, a number of people, Oh. oh. Um, that the Mythicon games that we played they're terrible uh on the last stream it appears we played them on training mode so you played them on the, easy which was the smiley face uh which disregards lives and score oh so you have infinite lives oh i see um so i played firefly again on a proper level and it did not make the game any better so you're not going to redo it is so it didn't change the <laughs> No. It doesn't change the gameplay whatsoever okay. it just gives you lives okay yeah fair and score Mm, doesn't make the game any better or worse, yeah. and they're bad to begin with. So yeah. Um, and Thomas Yanch also added that all those games, the Mythicon games, uh, calculate and verify a checksum at the very beginning. So they go through all their code, their own code mm -hmm. of the game, add them all up, and do a checksum to make sure nothing's been altered in the game. Um, they wow. do not continue if the check fails. <gasps> Except for very bad graphics only hackers, every everybody could easily remove it. I think it's meant for easy quality control, which is pretty funny considering the quality of the games. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Um do not edit this code. 2600 says of the games we're playing tonight, Mountain King is definitely on my list of good 2600 games. Glitch World is always fun when needing a break from trying to beat your personal best. Uh, Mary Brothers is the only other standout title for me on this list. Not bad f port for 2600 and plays well. Probably some others I'm overlooking, but I haven't had my morning coffee yet. So three out of 28. <laughs> they're like, these three are fine. I uh, mm, am I good? Is it okay? Is it okay? Are you <laughs> like? List? What are your feel feels going My into feel? this? Yeah. I feel that this list is full of 
a lot more complicated games. Complicated. So okay. I'm, I've got a bunch of instructions up for us for help to help oh, us. Oh, for to go five through minutes. These. Yeah. There's a bug or something. He's going oh, nuts. Oh, he's going nuts. So I've got the instructions up for a number of these games. So that should help us get through them without going. I don't know what's going on, but let's uh, let's start it up. Mm -hmm. Let's get the timer up on the screen. Oh, there's a crazy black cat. Uh, is there? Yeah. He's always crazy. He's got the wind up his bum. Yep. So, let's get the timer. Come on. I feel like switch away and then switch back. It's very strange. Oh, I, sh I just need to refresh it. That's why. Okay. So the first game is Star Wars Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. So we have another Star Wars game. Okay. Boom. Timer has started, and off we go. There you go. Love this game, Dan says. Yeah, it right. is cool. And a lot of these games are visually amazing. Like, really stepped up their game yeah. in the last part. Ooh. Like, look at this. There's the Death Star, there's the Millennium Falcon, there's... Ooh. What is going on? Okay, shoot the dudes until there's a hole that opens up, then go through the hole. Not oh much room to play. No. Oh my god. It's more like dodging. Yeah, it is more like dodging. <gasps> oh my god. Super brutal. I shot one. The graphics up top, like look at the, the, the little ship that's going, the little gray line. They're constructing the Death Star piece by piece. God. Uh, you can wow. go left and right off the screen, but I don't think it helps. It just w wraps around, I believe. Oh, go through that hole. What hole? That just opened up. Go up there. There you go. Okay, now you got to shoot away pieces of the Death Star. And you have to shoot that middle dot. But don't get in line with that thing. Oh, well, that's good to have. <laughs> you can shoot diagonally. Which can oh help. Oh my god! It's pretty brutal. <sighs> it's like I need, I need. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> I, ah! was able to, I was able to defeat it. I, I think you can, but you have to. I need, I need a counter. MK Smith says, "Wow, that's nice details." It's yes. beautiful. It is gorgeous looking game. The star field in the background, the construction of the Death Star, it actually adds to that graphic up top when those little pieces come in. Visually stunning game. Um, your lives are represented by little tiny icons of uh, Millennium Falcon. There it is. Get ah, up there. I'm trying to dodge things. Get up, the, uh, get up there while the shields are down. There you go. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So that green thing goes back and forth, just don't be in line with it when it gets to you. Just keep going back. But you have to shoot away the Death Star. Come on! Oh my god. And the Death Star is continually building itself, too. So really you want either a diagonal line going up to it's, it. It's hard. The diagonal is hard. Line. Straight is actually harder to get because of that green dot. Ah, right into it. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, not out of the lives yet. I keep pulling my shots, too. But this is probably one of the best looking games oh we've seen so far. It's a very frustrating game. My dad, yeah, I'm dead. You go ahead. He's like, I want to play. Give it. Give I, me the I, controls. I've gotten to play this for more than oh, 20 I... seconds, so I want to play it and show you how it's done. <laughs> I just want to show the Death Star exploding. I know. I, that, oh, is there? Yeah. I want to see that, too. Is that a minute and 38 seconds? It's not going to happen. Maybe. It's so I crazy. Have to go over the time. It's so small of a window you mm -hmm. have, though. It's beautiful, though. They could have done away with that. Um, oh, here we go. A little feel, even though it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. though. So it's pretty. A little bit off. 
Come on. Last chance. Nice. Then you have to avoid these things coming out. <gasps> oh. There oh, we go. But it we exploded. got to see it explode anyway. Very nice. I sacrificed my life for the mission. Azira says, I was, I was uh, well, away and I came back to the screen. Couldn't tell it was a 2600 game. Thought we were still in 7800. That means the graphics are that good. They do look good, although on the last screen you could tell. <laughs> it's, it's a really clever use of um, the screen. Oh. Tiny little dot killed me. He shot you. Oh. He shot you. So you can recall your bullets if you're having trouble there. Mm -hmm. Like, you can press like that and it recalls, but if you let go... No, my problem was just the opposite. There's a I didn't safe mean spot on the screen when the Death Star explodes. Oh. oh, okay. Next game is Star Trek Strategic Operations Simulator. Star Trek. And it's not as complicated as it sounds. <laughs> oh god, I forgot to print out this space shuttle overlay. Nice. Good luck to me. Old school theme song. Yep. Yeah, this would have predated the next generation. Okay, the last one was by Parker Brothers, October 83, PB5060 by Todd Marshall, Rob McDaniel, and Ray Miller. This one's October 1983, Sega by Jeff Lawrence, mm -hmm. card number 004-01. Go for it. Um, so the bottom part is your view ahead of you. Don't shoot that thing. Oh. Uh, defend that thing and shoot everything else. So it's a, oh. an overtop view and a, and a front view that you get to see. And left and right rotates uh, the bottom view and um, you've, you've got a handle on the top view now. Okay, avoid these. Oh, what? Avoid them. It's a meteor. Meteor field. Meteor field. Make sure you get through it. It's this green guy chasing me. Um... I think you actually want to go to that green guy. Do you want to? Yeah. No, he runs away. No, he doesn't. No, Star Wars. I'm done. There okay. Go. Ah! Shoot all the baddies. Um. Oh no! Space shuttle. Overlay. Yeah, I figured that was... And the stuff on the left uh, shows how much shield you have. And I think you have no shields now. Yeah, but if I go to this green guy... Oh yeah, you get refilled. That's right. So, there you go. You got a little bit refilled. So the, the gameplay is pretty interesting and unique, and I like the, um, the meteor field as well. Nice. Oh, you did fill up. Okay, you just lost a lot. <laughs> I don't think I meant to do that because I was my my shield had already replenished itself. Um. Printing the space shuttle overlay. Yes, it is good. Mike Soul, I agree. The Star Wars game was super cool. Avoid, avoid. Oh, what? Oh, that was. Did I die? I thought yeah. I, I didn't think I was that close. You weren't. Hmm? Okay, play again. One more minute to play. Um. Oh, come on. Oh, you lost. <laughs> you don't get a chance to um, refill your power after you destroy everything in the sector. Oh, 
Oh, it fills you up. Oh, yes. you can have take advantage of this time to fill up. Hey, calm down, cats. There are some angry kitties. Whoa. Love how they, the, the asteroids show up in your screen. Ah, they you do bastards. if you get too close, yeah. Or you can go super fast as well if you press down. Funny thing is, is that you so have to do it. that. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, so dead. No. Yeah, I'm dead. Sector point five. Two seconds. Good time. Try? No. Oh, okay. That was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. It was easy to pick up and play too. It wasn't that complicated. Yeah. Next one is Glib. Mm. Um, October 1983 by. Sell Chow and Writer. That's the company name. Everybody's getting in on the action. Uh, Cartridge 87 by Mike Montana and Rich Montana. Okay. This is a word game. So you start with a C and then you spell a word out of the letters. You get okay. more points for the harder, harder letters. And then I challenge you if it's a word or not after you spell it. So you press the button. Okay. Pick it. Hmm. I mean, there's CAD. There's CAD. <laughs> what? Oh, I have to. And then go down. And then you can put it. And you can actually insert letters too if you go in between letters at the bottom, which is. Oh, caged. I didn't see that. Caged. Ah, too good for me. Okay, then go down to the E to stop the timer. And then I go, yeah, that's a word. Then you press E again. You, and is it your the turn next? Go up. No. It's just one. One player in this version. But cool effects. Poor use. You do this one here. Oh, we're an unlimited time version. That's, so that's fine. fine. Uh, Starting with a U? But use. <laughs> That's it. Utes, as in two utes. No. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go for use. It's all one. Huh. Oops. Yeah. Very low points. You get more points if there's like a blue below it. Mm. You agree that's a word, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your turn. Very I nice like that animation. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, Eat. to what? <laughs> to, <laughs> to what? Oh, I see. It's from the movie that yeah. I've not seen. Two Utes. So E, not a great starting uh, letter as well. You can e -W -E. do you. Yep. E W E. Yep. Um, L. Terrible. Uh. Eel? Yeah, eel oh, works. Eel. Yeah. You, you, you is still more points, points. actually. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Can't see you yeah, I agree. I can't see anything with a P, though. Okay. With a P? Oh. I'm using a P. That's. This is definitely not a. <laughs> you no, know it is not. Five minutes of time. Oh, another. Flip and vowel. Can I move it? Can I delete it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I put it up here? No. It's like no. Why does it let you select it? I don't know. Uh, it, it's an O. I, I don't even see even one word. Elam. Yeah, Wordle, Wordle 1983 edition. Kind of, yeah. I just die. Quick, someone um, sue Wordle on behalf of this uh, <laughs> this company, <That's> right. <laughs> this game maker. Um, All I can think is I. All right. It's terrible. Yeah, that is awful. One point. One whole point. 
explode, explode, explode. Love the explodies. Yeah. Ooh, oh, red. Because hmm. of the Z, probably. Easy? I don't know. I don't know if that's a word. It probably is. Well. Yeah, now? Zits. Oh. That would be good. Unless. Oh, my goodness. Unless. So good. But it's all one. In lits? Unless. No. Oh, whoops. I have to move that. I did that wrong. You can insert. Okay. You can insert letters uh, between letters if you go in between them. I agree. That's a word. Oh, Atari 2600. Atari 2600. <laughs> okay. Oh, you keep it. All right. Next one is Chase the Chuck Wagon by Spectravision. Mm. Uh -huh. This game was only available through mail-in. October 1983 by Spectravision mm. by Michael Schwartz. It's a nice flashy title screen. Uh, it's made by... Um, Now, what company was it for? Chuck Wagon Dog Food, I guess. Really? Yeah. A dog food company? Everybody's getting in on the action. Okay, press the button. No? This is stupidity. Okay. Well, you have to press game select to start the game. Okay, so you have to get out the top, avoid everything. Out the top? Out oh. to the Chuck Wagon. Oh, there's Chuck Wagon. You have to See, watch out for the... Uh, when I first saw Chuck Wagon... Dog catcher. I initially, oh my god. And avoid the bone, even though you'd think you would go for the bone. Yeah. I heard in Charina. my head. There it is. Chip wagon. Chip. And I was thinking, French fries. Chip that sounds wagon. delicious. Okay. When the bowl gets down to your level, press the button. It's coming. Face the other way. No, we can't. Press it now. I guess it failed. I've never played this game before. Furia? It's it's a fairly expensive game because um, oh, got me. you had to mail in to get it, so it wasn't just available in stores. Goodies. One of the more expensive games to collect for the 2600. We're on a downhill trajectory, as Zor says. I 100% agree. When dog food companies are making games, it's bad news. It's like those games you get in cereal boxes on DVDs back in, oh, or CDs back in the day. Good times. Just garbage, garbage PC games. <laughs> um, yeah, I have nothing more to add. There, now you're facing it. Yum, yum, yum. No? Not good enough? Oh, yep, you did it. Just. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. He's mm. eating like he's a Sprite cat. <laughs> he is. Nom, 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 nom. It's a fire hydrant. Yeah, it's a screen with a dog in a maze <laughs> and, and like a bunch of things. Yeah. And yeah, basically what you get on the back of a cereal box or a kid's uh, placemat at a Yeah, um, find the way out of the maze and the mazes are not hard. Yeah. One exception, Chex Quest was supposedly oh. very good to go for PC. Get it. Oh. oh. Oh, come on. Poor puppy starving. Oh, he's so hungry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Chex Quest, wasn't that reissued recently by some company? Is that a mean dog? That, Spend your allowance on the dog Rottweiler, food. The pit bull. <gasps> oh, no, he got slows one you dog down. left. Oh, no. What? No, no, he slows you down. Oh, you have okay. a, It's a timed. It's timed at the bottom. Oh, okay. That's how many points you get, I guess. Or are you just yeah, losing just, your points? No, it adds to it. it, it okay. Yeah. It's a generally terrible game. Yo, oh, did you make it? I think so. Oh, too late. Didn't quite make so it. So mean. Poor puppy has to go back in the maze of pain. Maze of pain for you, white dog. Oh no! So you can only die by the um, dog catcher then. Really? I guess. And the bone just stops you. Oh, you're gonna have to go all the way around. No, he goes after you. Oh, he saw you. Oh, 
Now he doesn't know where we are. Are you going to see if he goes a way, all the other way? Ugh. You have t 21 things left. 19 oh. things. Oh. Stop it, phone. I can't move. Oh, there you go. Pause you for a long time. Oh my god, a lo really long time. Oh, you're going to make it. Yay! You made it to the funny horse. I'm sure they could have made that horse look better. Oh, you got it this time. I got a good edu edutainment game from Cheerios box when I was young. Still at the desk. Oh, that's funny. Sad face fall, watching it fall down. The only thing ever good thing I got, though, all the rest were demo versions of usually crappy games. Mm -hmm. or when music groups like Archie's or Monkey's put out the record on the back of a cereal box. That was cool. Oh, Flexi yes. Disc. Yes. All right. Next one is Party Mix by Star Pass Supercharger. Mm -hmm. So we have a Star Pass Supercharger now. <gasps> and we're going to load it. Nice. Off the Star Pass Supercharger. Ooh, authentic. Super authentic. There we go. So, Party Mix. There's actually six games. So. Mm. This is disc or uh, cartridge one. Make sure my volume is up all the way. Oh, that's the right one. Yep. Wait for it. It's loading? It's loading. <gasps> off of audio. Off my phone. Stop tape. Okay, I will. Party Mix, five wild and crazy games. By the Star 1983, Path. 1983, Star Path Corp. Okay, I'm guessing it's more than one player, these games. Press button. Uh, oh. oh, we just play them. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh my god, what is happening? We both went backwards, and now we're stuck. Well, that's garbage. <laughs> is this a paddle game, the first one? No. It might be. <laughs> it might be a paddle game. Well, or maybe try another game, because... Uh, it doesn't have another game. I think you have to go through them. Oh, really? You have to win them? Yeah. What are you loading it from? An iPod? <laughs> from my phone. Playing MP3s. That's right. You'll have to talk about that. Okay. When you have some time oh, and okay. explain how it works, because he, I didn't know this existed. He explained to me how it worked, and I, I thought it time. was brilliant. Oh, really? With I the it. okay. Try oh, and... you unboxed it. Try oh, and do it now. Fancy. Oh, yep, yep, it's definitely. Wait. Uh, uh, Button to move and rotate to point. Or are you shooting? No, I'm shooting, but I'm shooting the guy at the bottom. Oh, it must be a four-player game. It's a four-player game. Oh, there's more at the top. Oh my god. Should I plug in the other paddle so you can actually fight against me? Oh, no, it's fine. So I just try to shoot you. Well, One person shoots, the other person navigates the maze. Unfortunately, the second paddle is going against player four. Well, I'll just show it off a little. Yeah. So... Yay. Yay! It's Mario Kart! <laughs> Quite playable. Uh, yeah. Do we have to wait for the second player to finish? Oh, God. Might have to put in... Uh, if they're all paddle games like this, we'll put in the second paddle. <laughs> so we can actually get to the end and see the other games. Does Quetari support eight paddles? <laughs> it does. It does. It supports all the buttons on, on the uh, paddles. And we have played an eight-player game on the Quadtari using eight paddles and four people. Didn't quite work out. Because <laughs> it's hard to control two things at the same time. Okay, you play, you get to the end, and I will actually try and shoot you. I can. Nope, not working. Oh, do I nope. go to the next screen then? Maybe. What? Well, that's me there. Oh, 
colorful playfield graphics. Very big sprite that you're controlling. Come on, beat me. Beat me. Wall. I like these screens. You are. On the screen now. Yeah, we played um, Vroom. It actually finished. Mm. There we go. Maybe we'll get to see the second game now. Press the button. Press them all. No. Mm. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Is it the difficulty switches? I don't know. No. How do you go to the next game? Okay, well, we'll load the second game off of the party mix then because there's three cassettes it comes on oh nothing like playing games off cassettes off of cell phones <laughs> right uh party mix tug of war and wizard's keep Okay, the first one was only one game. Oh, okay. Wait, it can't support eight knobs, can it? Just eight buttons? Just eight buttons. Yeah. Yes. Vroom is button only, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's a button only game. I think that's the only eight player game. There's the... Whoa. What? <laughs> I think I started it too quick. Rewind tape. Be kind. Rewind. Rewind. <laughs> Such good memories of going to the VHS. There like, we um, go. Whoa! This whoa! Nice. That is pretty. So is this a paddle game? Um, we'll know soon enough, I guess. On thy mark. Oh, wow! This is gorgeous. Get the set. <laughs> Pressing oh, <laughs> that's why. It is a four-player game. Okay, how am I going to do this? Okay. Oh, not fair. <laughs> the graphics are gorgeous. Look at how many mountains and hills there are in the background. And the mm -hmm. castle and the trees. One more round. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Oh! I want to destroy the paddles. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Tuggy war. Um, this Oof, this um. is tug of war. The next one's called Wizard's Keep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Look at the graphics. Okay, so this is the top. What the hell? So the paddle rotation makes his arm rotate faster or slower. Oh, we got one. Finally. You have to press it kind of at the top of the... Come on. Oh, kitties, quit your whining. It is not easy. Psst, psst, psst. 
Hey, bad cat. It's hard enough just to throw the thing, let alone hit something. And there's stupid walls in the way, too. Oh, they go right through the walls. That's just decoration, then. Oh, it's team scores? I'm I think guessing? so. Yeah. Sprite's climbing, yeah. He is a naughty cat. Cool! Very interesting. So far, they're all paddle games, so you can have four players. Mm. And we'll go on to the last tape. RC70 um, could make a cool squid games with this kind of setup. <laughs> I could, yeah. Stop, go. Yeah. I'm surprised nobody made that for the 2600. Mm. The stop, go game. You could have an eight player. Oh, yeah. With a quad target. Oh, there is an idea for homebrew. As if people need ideas. I, well, true. <laughs> squid, gra squid games. Yeah. 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 You could do lots of, like, the whole set of squid games. Mm. Uh, made for the 2600. Mm. Whoa. So this one is down on the something. Down on the, I don't know, can't read it. It's too short. Okay, ready? Figure it out. Oh. Which one am I? I am the bottom right. What do I do with it? Oh, this is cooperative. Oh, well, at least we're on the same team. Pass it to me. Oh. Pass it to me. Oh. I don't get it. To the blue. To the blue. There. Yay. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> We're kicking their ass. Sorry. Uh, yeah, these are all four player only. It just automatically starts with four people, unless there's settings, but it's a party ga party games, so you have to have four people. If you don't have three friends, you're screwed on these games. Uh, that's the way it was in the 80s. <laughs> that's right. It's all about having more than the enough. Oh. Graphics are a bit glitchy. It's, it is, yeah. Probably because of tight timing. We won! Yay! <laughs> okay, let's check out the last Can we game. Make so <gasps> oh. Okay. No, oh, you're with me. Rotate, Am I? rotate, rotate. Okay. Oh. Da up, down, up, come on, down. Okay. What? You have to go up and down. You have to turn it. Turn it up how, and down. How much? Down? Down. Up? Up. Down. down. Up. Oh, I think you have to go all the way to the bottom. I am at the bottom. Oh, you have to hold it down. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I think the button has something to do with it, too. Oh, see the rotation? Up. Yeah. And now we're cooking. <laughs> oh. More pitfall characters in the bottom? Yeah. Hmm. A bunny. Pitfall Scorpion. Not quite, but not quite a tiny a cat. It's not. It, it's very close looking. Interesting dynamics of two people cooperating. The movement. It's it's pretty impressive. The graphics it is. too. Oh, the graphics are really good. Two guys independently moving and pushing down. Birdie by some water. 
Rabbit. Any flicker on the screen? None. Zero flicker. It's absolutely no flicker. They're, it's very, oops, very cleverly, um, we're almost there, planned out. games yeah. and like a Mario Party mini games too like it's very similar I have to invite Craig over even though we all hate him oh, yeah poor <laughs> yeah. Craig you always needed four these are not terrible no no I think they're quite as, good as actually party games they're yeah. pretty good like good multiplayer you games absolutely have to have four people to play all of them but this this would be a game I would play on a four player game night it would yep. be pretty fun next game is Springer yeah. tug of war was great <laughs> <laughs> it was, was fun a bit of a button masher if that was more rhythm based, I think it would be better to mm. tug of war rather than just mashing the buttons. Oh, I have to yeah. put in the joystick again. There we go. Springer. Mm. The music was really good for all of them. Very impressed by that. Yeah. The graphics and music were very yeah. good. Sorry, you said was Springer. Springer. The this gameplay was sounds quite like decent. Sounds like a Hubert. Uh oh. Nope, it's a platformer, and you're a bunny. Oh, I'm not playing, so. There you go. Oh. Wait till the music stops. Bunny. It's a game where you have to be absolutely perfect. Oh yes. Oh, oh my goodness! Broke his neck. How oh could my you? goodness! So you get the toothbrush and you get the carrot, and you avoid those round balls of death. Oh come on! That is <laughs> the worst bunny death I have oh. ever seen in any <laughs> game. It's a very sad bunny death. It's like he's being hung. Yep. Um, so Springer oh, was made by Tiger Vision. Uh, don't know who programmed it. Okay. No notes. Seven zero zero six. Oh, you had a lives. Already. Oh, Goodness All gracious. All the dead bunnies. Not a huge fan of pixel perfect platformers. See, you shouldn't have died there. Look at that little bun buns. I feel slightly traumatized. <laughs> Get right to the edge. There you go. There, that's how you do it. Get right under. Don't it. think you can hop up there, though. Oh, you can. You can. Ah. Carrots. So I have to get to the top. Yep, you have to go up that ladder. You can kick. Um, practice kicking right now. I think it's like down and or up or. <gasps> really, you can't jump to a lower platform. Nope. Really. Uh, you can fall a small amount, maybe. Wow. This game is pretty uncommon. I've only seen it come up on eBay once ever. Atari 2600 dude says, you know what? These late entry games, um, yeah, and rarities. I mean, Tiger Vision's not a super obscure company, but, uh, oh, my turn. You like your killed enough bunnies. Oh, the poor bunnies. <laughs> I had a bunny growing up. Anyone else? I did too. Yeah. What we was ate. your bunny's name? We, called, we ate them. Oh no! <laughs> no. Made me sad. Oh We're, no! We got to pet them. They were fluffy. Yeah. But then we ate them. Oh no! Oh. Pick. I went right through that. Come on. <laughs> what are those things? Uh, alligator creatures with pants on? Not sure. <laughs> and they hatch after a little while. Yeah. Um, I think I told you the story of Snowball. Yep. Cut. No, you have to be right I... on the edge, I guess. I don't know. It's just broken. I'm leaning towards broken. I'd say broken. Snowball was my bunny. I think Aww. I had him when I was maybe 12. But um, we actually inherited Snowball from one of my mother's friends who had two teenagers. And, uh, oh, good job. Finally. No! Oh, no! Uh, and uh, the teenage kids weren't taking care of it uh, to her exacting standards. Open the door. So, um, 
actually gave Snowball to my mom. And so we got Snowball for about three years before Snowball, you know, eventually passed away. Yeah. But um, uh, the teenage kids did not notice for three weeks <laughs> that their mom had given them. They obviously did not take care they of They were not taking care of that uh, little bunny. So. Right through the platform. But Snowball was a loving bunny. Very, oh. very sweet bunny. What? Off the edge. No, I pressed down <laughs> accidentally. Don't press up down. up is kick, though. Up is kick? I think. Yep. Yeah. Kick, 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 kick. Bunnies can kick. Oh, yeah, they can. So can cats. Cats can kick pretty good, too. Oh, they can. Not as good as bunnies. God, this Brutal. game. And that's enough of that. No, Didn't even get to level two. More. Nope, nope. Five minutes that's each. 140 minutes. Vitoko added it up. <laughs> uh, next one is Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space. Mm. Good luck to us. I do not have this cartridge. Oh, I do. It's over there. Let's put it in. Yay! Original cartridges! Yay. We're going to completely fumble this. It is a very complicated game. Is it? Okay. It has an overlay that goes over the whole console. Ooh, that's fancy. Which I don't have. Oh no! Quite expensive. Oh. But I do have the overlay printed. So, yeah. Launch! Internal power on. Done. Primary and backup engines sh shut down. Uh, done. Cargo doors closed. Uh, landing gear up. Cargo doors closed. Landing gear up. Use status switch uh, to select fit one, uh, number two or number three. Uh, we'll, okay. We'll deflate number one. Do it easy. Activate countdown. Start countdown. NASA. At MET 15, activate primary engines. Where's the countdown? Oh, it hasn't started yet. 15. Oh. Oh. Primary engines. Oops. Oh, they were, they were already activated. Number four, initiate. Uh, Red button and the joystick at four. Oh, too late. Dive into the ground. <laughs> oh, we're actually taking off. I did hit it at four, I think. Oh, but... maintain proper trajectory and plane watching display. What? At 205 nautical miles, shut down engines. So go back and forth, up, down, I don't know. Right, different things. I'm just trying to one. keep that flashing dot in the middle. Maybe. What is that, 205 nautical miles? Yeah. yeah. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. What do you shut down the engines with? Um, the color black and white. Black and white have 205. Too high? Am I supposed to follow that? Uh, yeah, a little too high, it looks like. But I don't know how to adjust. I don't even know what I'm adjusting here. It's okay. Maybe up and down. I'm just adjusting left to right oh. based on that box. Okay. Uh, stabilizing orbit. Activate primary engines. Push joystick down, forward, to set to 28 pitch. I don't see the numbers. Shut down primary engines. Forward? Yeah, it says forward, to set, 28 pitch. Maybe it's like that, you have to get in the middle? I don't know, I'm pushing forward. It is making noise. Uh, then shut down primary engines. We'll just but I'm not in 26. Open cargo bay doors. Okay. Docking. Well, we're not even close to it. 
No, we're not. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's not gonna let you do that. Oh my god, why? It just flew off. Flew out of the stratosphere. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> ISS, or whatever that was. Yeah, very oh. complex game. Now it has numbers. You have to get to 28. 28? Wrong way. It's going up. Why is it going up? What is my altitude supposed to be? Um, 205. Oh, that's it for this super complicated game. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know if I'm doing anything. It's it's a long and complicated game. Wow. It's not going to happen in five minutes, but it's quite, quite good. It's very cool. That, if I were a, if I were a space kid, like, oh, and I was yeah. excited with that stuff, this game would be right up my alley. That was by Activision, November 1983, Activision. by um, The Kitchen's... Brother slash sister. Brother back then, sister now. Okay. Uh, Steve slash Jessica uh, Stevens Kitchen. Uh, AZ003. Okay. Uh, Big Bird's Egg Catch is next when we use the kids controller. Was there a patch for it? Patch for that game? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, a patch. I don't think there was. I don't remember a space shuttle patch. Even though they were still doing patches for games in 83. Uh, Big Bird's Egg Catch. Oh, I don't think you're able to do that. Nope. Oh. Try down, like eight. Up, down, left, right, no. Damn it. Nope, you have to plug it in after. Yep. People didn't have multi-carts then. They get plugged in the actual game. Pretty sure I have this game, but I couldn't find it. There we go. So I believe it's just left and right on this game. With five and six, I think. Yeah. More there you go. Yeah. Catch those eggs. Oh, he. Oh, and he walks now too. That is really good graphics on Big Bird there. Beautiful. Nice shading. Uh, good animation for the walking. Chickens are good. What's that controller? It is the kids controller. Kids it's a big controller. blue controller, but it's exactly the same as the keyboard controllers. And also exactly the same as one other controller. Can't remember. All the ones with the 12 buttons are all the same uh, layout. They just look different. So they're interchangeable. So okay. if you only have one of them, you can use it for the others. I you want feel to play? he does. He's like, there's only two buttons. I have two pods. <laughs> Just put a put a put a dinger on each of them, and he will absolutely play this game along. Yes. He'll catch those eggs. That's right. Smack, smack, smack. Um, so this is by Atari. Video November... touch pad, pad Vitogo says. Yes. November 1983, by Christopher Omar Zhu. Um, CX26104. It's pretty cute. And the, and the little chicken pops up when it when it lays an egg. Goes, and they and they and it briefly makes them all black and white so that um, the colors don't look crazy. Very, very good graphics. Good for a kid's game. Oh no! Music. Mm -hmm. I mean, Definitely a good kids game. Yeah. Kind of like reverse Plinko. Yeah. Yes. You have to catch it at the bottom instead of releasing it. Does it ever cross and go to the wrong one, or does it nope. always goes? It follows the same oh, path. Okay. Let's see if there's another variation. Uh, oh, there's. Oh! Okay. 
a different look. Oh, you can't see. Whoa. So you have to That's watch, hard. watch the chicken and then trace it down. Hi. So it does get harder. I not say hard, right? Oh, it is harder. You have to look at the top and then look at the bottom and then look at the top and then look at the bottom. Tanya fails kindergarten. <laughs> Did you drop the egg before? Is that yeah. why? Oh, back to kindergarten. You do need to pay attention. <laughs> oh, I didn't see which one it was! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I didn't see it! That's cute! Next one is Cookie Monster Munch, using the kids' controller as well. Alright, smoosh! I have to plug it back in again. Are you gonna play? What if I put treats? If I put a treat, will you? Well, he'll just eat it. He won't actually smack it. Oh. Fired from Sesame Street. Oh. Very similar uh, title screen there. <laughs> okay, you. Uh, this one has. Whoa. Terrible uh, screen issues. Oh, I Apparently. see. Apparently. Uh, yeah, no, it's Go get the cookie. So good. Cookie! And then bring the cookie back. What? Find the up button. Oh, that's why. Somebody didn't pay attention to the programmer's manual. What did I and do? Then there's an enter. It's in the middle, I think. Oh. Five. There we go. He's got the cookie! How can we get to Sesame Street? Oh. Did they give instructions in the uh, intro song how to get to Sesame Street? I don't think can they did. Can you tell me how to get? Yeah, the kids so just the wondering. kids are asking. Huge animation! Wow! That is impressive. Oh, that's so cute. That is probably one of the most impressive full screen animations I've ever seen, except for D Dark Tower. The new Dark Tower with the full screen um, fire breathing dragon. That's probably um, the only other full screen. I mean, the uh, Frankenstein's monster game pales in comparison to that graphic. You know where the big stompy guy comes at you? Well, I can't get it. I have to drop it off first. Ugh. Two cookies getting greedy. Oh, kitten. Come in here. Come here. What's wrong with you? Let's try another variation. Number seven. Come here. Come here, little baby. Hi. Oh, well, you're behind the fence. What the hell's going on? Oh, no. How do you get to out, out there? Are you controlling the guy now? Yeah. You have to bring it up to... Oh, Cookie Monster's coming after you. Oh, you stole your cookie. It's you against the monster. It. It's he you the against cookie. the monster. Psst. No. This is barely playable. Okay. I, I, it's really, really annoying. We're gonna go to the next game then. Barely playable. More Sesame Street? Uh, uh, related. Pigs in space. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Pigs in space. Back to the normal controller. Kitties in space! No, is that Grover? Oh, was it? Maybe. It was all gray, though. No, I... I it would have been a different color. It could be Grover, but Grover's not the right color. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm excited. I'm hoping I'm not disappointed. You will be slightly disappointed. Uh, 1983. Ha. Henson something? That's what Ha stands for. Okay, so you get to pick uh, out of three different games. Okay. So I'll try the first one first. It's Space Invaders! Oh, you got the UFO! He was hanging around for quite a while. <laughs> he was. So you have to shoot all the chickens. What's the name of the chicken? What's the name of the chicken? Uh, Camilla? Gonzo's Camilla! Thank you! It looks like it's like a bunch of space Camillas. Gonzo's graphics are amazing. Fantastic. Like, it's 3D spinning. 
Oh. I don't think we've seen any other 3D spinning graphics in a game. Psst. So I do have to say this pig at the bottom, it's, he's freaking huge. Yeah. He's a really big good graphics. target. <laughs> <laughs> graphics aren't bad. No, they're really good, the graphics. The gameplay? I mean, it's not a bad Space Invaders, is it? Oh. Like, in terms of graphics, it's a really good graphically impressive Space Invaders. Link turns into a chicken when he gets hit. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. okay. This is the worst. Well, you are playing Miss Piggy, though. Oh my gosh, she moves. <laughs> she, like, slides. Sliding <gasps> up the screen. Oh my god. She's flapping her feet. So it's a uh, freeway. Yeah, you made it. Number three oh, game. These are pretty. Uh, this is a very interesting shooting uh, scheme. Move away a bit. And it remembers the last direction you moved. Oh, just in time. Oh, you got hit by the guy up above. Oh, did I? I think. I'm hungry now. Those look so real. <laughs> the cookies? Yep, cookies. Nice. So you can zoom along faster if you want to just avoid it. Oh, terrible. This is the most interesting of the three. It is definitely. Oh my god, I hit the wall. Spiky walls. <gasps> Oh, terrible. No, the spaghetti and meatballs. Oh. Spaghetti and meatballs? Oh, going across the screen on the last one where she had to cross. I didn't even recognize what they were. <laughs> I don't think we ever have spaghetti. It's like the most... It's the boringest. It's the boringest past ever, and we were all brought up on it in the 80s. It's I just know. spaghetti every night. Bolognese it's like, sauce. It's like there is no other pasta but but uh, spaghetti in the, in the 80s. Like the extent of Italian food in North America was pizza and spaghetti. <laughs> like whole restaurants were built around pizza and spaghetti. <laughs> like there's, there's a... Um, place in Canada is in the U.S., the old spaghetti factory. Oh, they still have it. They Here. still have it in Canada. But I don't know if it's a U.S. thing. I'd... Well, I'm sure I'd be surprised if they didn't still have it. Well, it still exists here, but I don't know if it was a, um, a U.S. thing at all. Yep, have it in the U.S. Okay. Uh, have they updated since the 80s? Because <laughs> I haven't been there. All I remember is a bad pasta and uh, pistachio ice cream. I hated, I hated it. I hated it. They would have Pistachio. the candied fruit in it. Uh, a candied fruit in your ice cream? How to ruin ice cream instantly? Put candied fruit in it. Make make out like it's. Oh my god! Hitting the walls. Because you have to like. It's like I move to the left, but it doesn't necessarily listen. Nice. Hit those gonzos. <laughs> those monochromatic gonzos. He was the enemy. I guess he's the enemy in this game because he was the UFO as well. He wasn't in the second game, though. I think he's always the enemy because doesn't doesn't like Miss Piggy hate him? Does he? Does she? Um, oh, you're going to have to run away now. God. Zoom through it. Oh, you're going to have to shoot that dude. No, I can't. There. <sighs> Penne for dinner tonight. Ooh, nice. penne's good. Penne's We're not talking so about penne. Good, eh? So good. Okay. Um, it's by Rob Zybel, Zybel programmer, John Russell programmer, Bill Astromonte programmer, Michael Sericcio designer, and Dave Jolly. Um, Pigs in Space starring Miss Piggy. Next one is Snoopy and the Red Baron. How much Ooh, of nice. cartoon and comic book uh, related things? Lots of kids things and here. It is the ultimate. No, the one I like best is Fusilli. I'm a big Fusilli fan. Mm. November 1983 by Atari. CX26111. Do you know which one we're playing? Nope. Okay, Snoopy I'm and the Red Baron. I'm talking about Pasta right now. Snoopy uh, and the Red. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 
Uh, Richard Dobbis, programmer. Sam Comstock, graphics. <gasps> Amazing graphics. There's a shadow under the roof of Snoopy's house. The graphics are astounding. On the clouds and the mountains. <gasps> oh, don't let him get behind you. Oh, got him or get the roof or something. Oh, you got the power up. Not the power up, the bonus. No, no, you got shot. Look at the little bullet holes in his house. Does Spike show up? I hope Spike shows up. Well, maybe. He looks like the desert he's flying over. Oh, you got grounded. Wow. The scrolling is great. Yes. Got a couple bullet holes. I'm gonna stay behind him. Oh, missed him. Oh! Oh, more bullet holes. This is so cute. The graphics for Snoopy are astounding. And his little scarf flapping in the wind. Oh. Not sure if the game is anything but this. Not so sure. Didn't play it for very long. Gives a 3D feel, but I don't think I would have understood that as a kid for uh, some reason. Yeah, the different um, scrolling of this of the clouds. Oh. And the mountain and Snoopy and also the shadow of Snoopy. And your lives are in the bullets there. I love that. Yeah. How much damage you've taken <gasps> is oh. in the bullet bullet holes on your side of the doghouse. So clever. It's so cute. Oh. It's very hard to get it's those. Very stuff. hard to get them. can't actually get him when he's at the top there. No, he's able to be safe. World War One flying ace. Yes, Dan. Oh, ah! oh no. There's lots of bullet holes. Aww. Not many games indicate your damage on the character itself. That's a really cool um, innovation. And the plane can fly away for a bit, like you saw at the beginning there, it was in, a, in the distance. So nice! Yeah. A little, a little bit one note. <laughs> oh yeah, there's not much going on here. Oh, look at it, crashes in the distance. Mm -hmm. But you gotta give it to the, the graphics, and uh, it sounds good too. Nice little opening tune. Oh. And computer AI. That's true. Yeah. He is dodging you, I think. Maybe if you just stand still, it just does the same it thing. It will come up from behind. Yeah. It seems like it's AI, at least. Oh. Very hard. This is essentially combat, but with good graphics. True, and better steering. Because you, you can turn around. The other guy's more like... Um, is more like combat, because he has to kind of turn around uh, a little bit slower than you. You have instant movement. Oh. And that explosion at the bottom. I want to keep track of how many you've killed. Oh, we got Oh, crashed into him. So. Last, last, ah! Last run. That's your last life, too. Oh! oh. I don't think that was good. Skull and crossbones. All the things that have fallen. You got it, yeah. That's it for Snoopy and the Red Baron! Amazing graphics, and you died at the exact right time. One, two, three. Yeah, wasn't 83 supposed to be full of duds? My wish list, hit, this wish list has quadrupled after these episodes. Oh, wow. There, there you go. Yeah, 83 is not as bad as we thought. No, maybe, there's some good ones in maybe there. Maybe it wasn't the games. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Next one is Smurf Save the Day, but yeah. we can't play it. No, why not? It's street time. Because yum, yum, it's street yum, time. Yum, 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 yum. No, that's uh, that's thank you, RC70. What, no, what was that? Playing. What was that? Is What do you want? What? You want? Spell it out. Oh, even even the gray cat's meowing now too. Oh. Um, excuse me. 
Excuse me. There should be some treats. I seem to be missing some treats right here. That oh. Gives me the perfect amount of time to queue up oh, the one, next game. Two. Yeah, people have people have always said, oh, it's the bad games in 83. I now disagree with that. Yeah. There were a lot of good games in 83, but there was a lot of cheap games that were put out. Yeah. And there was a glut of games which saturated the market, which made... You know, not as much money concentrated on on uh, specific companies, but that was kind of the rise of the home computer, which is also a factor that's been given for the crash of '83. Um, I think a lot of people got, you know, like um, an Atari computer, Commodore computers, uh, Apple computers then, and um, people were just more interested in computers at that time because they could do more. That's true. They could do more powerful, have more powerful games on them. You, oh. could, you could share the games and copy games and make your own games eat more easily. Yeah. On home computers. Yeah. Spread is quite the vocal range. Sounds like a few oh. human words in those meows. I know. He is very good at meowing, RC70. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And ringing the bell. And very good at ringing the bell. I noticed he rang his, and then I gave Atari one. Then he walked over to Atari's and hit Atari's. Oh. <gasps> what was that? What oh, fell? I don't know. Oh, just the controller was on the edge there. Oh, we're done? Yeah. Okay. Good kitties. Thank you, RC70. The kitties, thank you. Yes. No, those aren't real rings. Okay. So, we can't look at... The next game, because you absolutely need the attachment for this game. Oh, no. It's the kid's voice module. It will not work without it. The kid's voice module. Yes. And the other one was mm -hmm. um, the Berenstain Bears that we uh, demonstrated as well. So we yeah. have to play a video of somebody else playing it. Oh, no. Uh, which is which is fine, you know. Um, so this is uh, Smurfs Save the Day. Um, this channel is Old Classic Retro Gaming. Thank you for playing the game. Yes. So if you turn it on without it, this is all you see. You can't start the game, you can't do anything. That's all you get. But this will be a, a bit of a demonstration of it. I don't know. The person's doing something. We still can't hear the voice from the tape, because there's also oh. a voice that goes along with it telling you things, like a story. Oh. Definitely wasn't the games. Can't believe I missed Space Shuttle off my list. The game was epic. Mm. I do remember my friend C64 being the primary thing we did instead of Atari. I think his uncle was into computers, so he had all the stuff. Yes. Um, the issue was the duds were in the $5 bin, where the good games were in the 30 Parents would choose the bargain bin. Yeah. And then nobody would pick the big games. Those got discounted, yeah. too. And returned. Yeah. So it just created a perfect storm. Let's fast forward to the next scene. So what what are you doing with this voice controller? Oh no no no! It, the it, the um, kid's voice module is just a tape player oh. that, plug, that I think plugged into the port number two, so okay. it would send signals. Oh. And the game wouldn't start without the signal. Oh, I see. It doesn't look like they're actually playing, but you get to see the screens. So I can't. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so there you go. That is Smurfs. Save the day. This is the only video I could find. Uh, it's not even really playing the game, but that's okay. Okay, the next one is uh, Boing. There we go. And I actually bought, it's the, probably the only hack hack of the game. Okay. Load up Boing. Um, because... Oh, God. Can you reset it? Sorry. The hack. I hit the one above it. Big Bird's egg catch. And no, did that already. Where's my boing? Oh my god, I did it again. What is happening? <laughs> Having some joystick issues. No, I just hit it like what I thought was three times. I knew it. I knew it. So this was um, remade as. Oh, let's see. No video.
So this was remade as Bouncer as a hack, and they fixed a lot of the color issues in the game. Because the color is absurd. <laughs> and I think they made all the backgrounds black and just changed the color of the... Um, kept the color of, of the maze or the platforms. It's q -bird except not 45 degrees. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> First non 45 degree cubert. Ah, smoosh. So it's kind of 45, but it's up, down, left, right. So the, this looks like that. It's all black, and it looks so much better. It's all black? Yeah, the hack. Rather than those it's like dark blues mode? and yeah, dark mode all the time. And that line coming down can kill that guy if you haven't seen that already. Yeah. Uh, so you can kind of lure him a bit. It's very hard to do. Oh. Oops. Squish. <gasps> I'm oh, did you die immediately? Run! I mean, it's not a bad game. It's a good idea. It's very limited, though. Like, this is it. I think there might be some there. Whoa! You passed by him, but... Oh my gosh. What? What is going on? I'm dead. You're yeah. dead. You wanna play? Cubert. Cubert games. Oh, three levels. Let me do the third level. Okay. There you go. I think on the higher levels you have to do things twice. Okay. Oh, no. Game three has just changed some of them. Okay, dude, you have to come up here. Get the hell out of the way. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, oh! you can't change some of them until you've done all... Terrible. Terrible. Done twice in a row. Oh, I knew that guy was coming there. So level three is you can't change some of them until you change others. Ah, and it switches. Oh, it destroyed him. Destroy him, my robots. Not bad, not bad. It's it's a cool game. Just limited. Just limited. It's a limited cuber. That guy's relentless. He is. It's pretty good though. Oh, right on him. Nope. This game forever! <laughs> this game forever. Your time is stuck at... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. I think we're done. We're done. We're done. There you go. It's Qbert. We both played it. You know my feelings. <laughs> it's not okay. on a 40, 45 degree Next angle. Next one's so. Bump and Jump. Bump and Jump. Bump and Jump. Bump and Jump. Timer has stopped. Well, it's back on now. Now I've turned it back on. we played it enough. Uh, by M Network. Last one was by First Star uh, Software, November 83, by Alex Levens and Shirley Ann Russell. Uh, Smurf Save the Day was by Coleco, made by Rob Harris. Yeah, so you bump them and you jump them when there's a big gap coming. So get ready with the button. Okay, it's coming. Press the button now. Kind of cool. Um, it's by M Network, MT7045, Dave Ackers, Joe King, Patricia Lewis DeLong, and Jeff Radcliffe. So you have to bump them into the sides. Don't let them bump you when you're close to the side. Okay, it's coming. Oh, maybe a bit early. Oh, no. Probably have to jump on the left hand side. Like the poison guy. I... Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> Love this game on the NES, Gopher Man says. I didn't have that one at 60 frames per second. It looked weird. Oh, yeah. Get to the side and jump again. Oh, no. no. Yeah, you have to watch at 60 frames a second. Or it, uh, half the screen's gone. And jump again. Oh, no. <laughs> you have to jump really early on that one and then yeah. jump again. can't jump again. No, you can't. Oh, because it has to refuel, I guess. You can't just keep jumping. Uh -huh. Whatever jumping function is in there. Yeah, because there's an OK flashing. That means you can jump. 
makes sense. Bump those guys. Are you supposed to? Yep. That's how you get points. Oh, that was early. Mm, oh. Too early. Ooh. Cats. My turn. My Reset, turn. please. So forward is accelerate, back is brake. Some of them you can destroy instantly. Some of them you have to you can bump them into bump people. Them into people. Like this the is brown pretty hair. cute. Oh, right into uh, the No warning of the narrowing. Where's he saying? He says, "Is it normal for M Network games to not fit work in the junior? I bought a couple this past weekend, and none of them fit right and get just blank screens." Well, fitting and blank screens are two separate issues. Yeah. Um, but I have trouble fitting some. Like, I went through all my games doing this, and a lot of them didn't fit properly. Oh, oh, let me slow down. Oh, just in time. A lot of them were really tight fitting. I think there was one I couldn't even get in, so we had to use the, um, the emulation for it. Not emulation. Harmony card. Oh, that guy bumped me into the wall just before. Mm. Grumble cats. Grove, Grove for man says M network carts can be kind of finicky. Yeah, they're very different look to them. That guy dies instantly. That guy can die if you bump him into the wall. But then these guys don't die at all. The yellow. Mm -hmm. I have a couple that fit very loosely in my Vader, so it's a 50 50 shot whether they're going to work. Oh. Uh. Is the Vader the black one? Yeah. Yeah, the um, oh, move over. the nice. it black full sized one. Yes, yeah, and yeah. The junior is the, the very little guy. slim. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, to the junior. next level. Oh my god. Woo. Yeah, we do have a junior. I don't have a Vader. Vader's are nice. Yeah, I'm not keen on it. No. No. I'm not really keen on the Sears version either. Mm -hmm. Although I wouldn't turn down a heavy six or six. I'm sure you would. Oh god. Ooh, whoa! Oil. Oil slicks! Spy under ripoff! Oh, you can't kill those. Maybe it's just those. Oh, they push you far. Oh, you can't kill those. Nice. Yeah, pretty fun game. Wheel bearings are shot. Need to find next mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This game should have background music. Yeah. I think it's the color black and white switch. Oh, oh yeah, I've been, I did that for Space Shuttle. Put it to color. There we oh, go. Threw me off. They both should be on B. Oh god. Yeah. Two seconds, perfect timing. Nope, done. All done. These that's, levels. That's a pretty Ooh. good game. Next one's Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. Planet of Zoom. Silly name. Oh, funny. Buck Rogers is a Sega game made by who knows? Buck Rogers. Zero zero five. Zero? Yep. Buck Rogers under B for. Oh, what? <laughs> Scroll. Scroll. <gasps> Why isn't Buck Rogers on there? We'll have to pause for Buck Rogers. Pause. Pause for cats. <laughs> Uh, RC70 says, I rewatched Knight Rider recently. The first episode, some guy calls the interior of Kit Darth Vader's toilet. Now that's all <laughs> I think of when I hear Vader or Knight Rider. That oh. is funny. Funny. That is really funny. Buck Rogers. How did I miss that one? Uh, I don't know. Load it on to the SD card. And it's so small, it takes zero time at all. And it's on there. There you go. Restart the timer. Where is it? Sorry? Uh, it should be at the bottom. No. no, no, no. Same thing, but it's at the bottom because it doesn't sort. Fair enough. Does not have the capacity to sort things. Uh. Nice little. Okay, press the button. 
Okay, first level, go through the slaloms. Go in the middle of them. Go faster. There you go. And then the next one is shoot things and avoid being shot. <laughs> the mountains are kind of cool. But we've seen... Oh, don't hit things. Oh. Avoid everything. I don't think you can shoot on this level, so you have to avoid things. Oh, you can shoot. Okay. Lies. Shoot the things, then. <laughs> oh, oh, you made it into space. Okay, shoot all the things. Avoid hitting them. Oh, it recalls your bullets, so be aware of that. I don't like that either. I hate bullet games. recalls. I can see the advantage. It's like, oh, that bullet's not going to hit something. Let me shoot again. Oof. Oof. Interesting, um... How dare you. Oh, it hit me from behind. Lovely. What is the what is the order of the harmony menu? I think it's the order you add them to the drive. Yes. Yes, it is the order you add them to the drive. So because I, I put um, oh, Buck Rogers two. last after, um, that means it's at the end of the list. So if you want them in order, what you do is put them in order on your computer and then drag them all over in one go. And then they will be in order on your Harmony card. And that's what you saw for the rest for the rest of the games that we have on the Harmony card. They're all in order. So a little tip. I wonder if you kill some of them if it helps you in the next round. Hmm. Oh, God. This is Atari's version of Star Fox. Yep. I like how it gets crazy looking at the end of the yeah, level. It's, it's like, whoa. It's kind nice. of weird. It's not the best game like this I've, I think I've ever played. No. It's very chunky. Like, the yeah. movement is like, chuck, chuck, and yeah, it hit me <laughs> from behind. Yeah. And you can't move up the screen, can you? Uh, it doesn't appear so. It's all from your perspective, almost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is Star Fox. <gasps> ah, my wing. I crashed. I do like that mountain in the in the background, though. It's nice. Nice yeah. colors. Whoa. Lines on the ground scrolling are fine. Yeah. This I find very like, ooh, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's crazy looking. Whoa, what? Yours weren't that fast. They were about that fast. You have to move. Oh Whoa. my god. Whoa. What is going on? It is bigger than the screen. Like, you can, like. Are you going forward and back or no? No. Oh. Oh, you can slow them down. That's why they're well, so you're fast. You're slowing for down me. and speeding up. So you can actually make them slower by slowing down. Because I had it full tilt. That's why they're so zoomy. Mm. Looks like it needed some more dev time for polish. Yeah, it's uh, a bit it's, glitchy. And it's it's bit... very, very choppy. Very choppy. Yeah. The score at the top's nice. Nice tiny font. I agree with 2600. Shmups where you get hit from behind are terrible in my opinion. What's the point when it's not player error? Exactly, it should only be player error. Well, especially in this game where you can't even move up the screen no. to avoid them. They just so they just come you. up from behind. It's yep. like, really? just kill you. Really? I think I'm almost that there. That is dirty. That's dirty. Oh, oh, the timer's running out. Did I die? I think I died. Oh, I think, I think you did. I You're back at level one. I have to shoot enough. Uh, yeah, you get different things too. Bad guys on that level to. I think to you do. Promote myself to the next one. The level two. Interesting. Interesting game. I mean, there's some some nice things yeah. about it, but it's. One well, no, I assume this just continues over and over again. So. Yeah, maybe there's a third level. All right. But we didn't make it. Nope, we did not. Uh, next one is Survival Island from Star Pass Supercharger. So we Sounds get to like use that again. Terrible um, uh, reality, reality show. show. Yeah. 
Welcome to Survival Island. It's like Survival and Temptation Island all mixed together. We bring 12 hot people together. <laughs> to survive in this pit of asps. <laughs> Can they survive Survival Island? Uh, there we go. I think I started too early. Stop the tape! <laughs> Stop the tape! Okay, enter code. Well, we don't have a code. Swim to the island with your boat. Swim, swim, swim. So there's things you have to pick up. Let me get the instruction. No! Oh my god! Ah! Get the supplies. Get it. Come on. You're constantly drifting towards the island. You must collect food and water in order to survive on the island. When you touch floating food uh, and water with your raft, you increase your supply. I just lost my raft. Be careful to avoid sharks and sea creatures. Ah! How do you avoid them? They just move faster than you do. They can knock you off your raft, and if they touch you in the water, you perish. Oh my god. If you do lose your raft, you'll lose your supplies. The smoke is awesome looking. Get that? Get it? Look how slow. Oh, I can move faster. Oh my god. That's the top of the screen, by the way. What is? Oh, where, Useless you, jump. where you can get to? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. Too far away. No. Stay in the middle. Get it. Useless jump. Go towards the island, and the island gets bigger as you get closer towards it. Really, really cool. I feel this whole year is dominated by oh games with unique perspectives. Yes. It's lost my... And the graphics get a lot more detailed, I find. Like, this has really good detailed graphics. I think that's just useless jump. All the time. Food. Oh, they're so Almost. hard to get. Food one, water zero, life eighty four. Snessy. Oh, sea hag. Sea hag? Uh, not the bottom corner. Ah! Gopher Man says, agreed. Mark of a badly made game if it kills you when it's not your fault. Oh my god, yes. Every death in a game should feel like you screwed up and you could have avoided it. If it feels like, oh, I could not have avoided that in the game. What is that it's stuff? Terrible. I, I'm no, no, scared no. to touch Don't it. Don't touch it. Seag. Seag. You're almost at the island with one food. One food. Joystick button can be used to move faster, but this will cause your life force to decrease. Oh. Watch your life. You oh. have to move fast. There's no way. Oh, water. Yeah, game water. Shark. I mean, you could move fast when there's a bad guy, but yeah. don't do it when there isn't, because your life is at 67. Not that we're going to make it oh. past this. Because there's actually three stages to this game. Uh, the next one's on the island. The wilderness island, and then the secret temple after that. We're almost at the beach. This guy is awful. No. Oh, Gain food. Whoa! Oh. Guy with the guns in the water. supplies and you have no raft maybe you'll make it to the island in time before you die no oh. that killed your life a bit oh my god a massive amount wow we'll make it to the island do you we'll think stop. oh the water oh no we're almost to the island no oh. just keep swimming just keep watching oh. oh it goes right for Run. you it goes
goes for you. Wow. Guess you have to be far away. I'm from gonna it. die. Maybe. Go to the island quick. Twelve. No, just go to the island. Swim slow. Don't use up your life. You're almost there. Almost there. Oh no. Oh no. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Life. Can she make it? Five. Four. No. Three. Oh, oh perish. You can't even avoid those. <laughs> you have to rush, I think, in one direction. Whoa! Does it turn into Jungle Hunt when you get there? <laughs> Actually, I think Almost. you have to load the second part. Do you really? Yeah, so we'll just briefly look at it. That's why you need code. Oh, what? oh, no, this doesn't work because you have to be in the game to load the second part. Oh, you're you trying to load the straight, second part. You can't just straight up load that's the second okay. part. That's okay. That's okay. Yep. That's what the code's for. So you can type mm -hmm. in the code and just load the second part. Uh, the next one is Sword of Saros, also on the Star Pass Supercharger. progress if you move backwards? Um, I don't think so. I think you're just treading water in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sword of Saros! Star Path AR4201 by Stephen H. Landrum, John Leop. What am I supposed to do? Um... I will read it out. Find your way out of the dungeon of the evil wizard as you discover pieces of the magical sword of Sauros. So you have to get all those things. Avoid the spider. I don't know how to... <laughs> you just push yourself up against them. Okay, run away, run away, run away. There you go. There... He also has spider webs that he shoots out too. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. God. Treasure stealer. Yes. Who's the bad one in this game? The player is the bad one. Stealing all this stuff that oh. is not theirs. And then you exit out the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. No, very, very. Like, yeah, down along the walls. Yeah. Sorry? Along the walls. At the top or bottom. I don't understand. Um, there's not an exit everywhere. Oh, I see. Yeah. Am I supposed to uh, so, dodge these people? Like Yeah. So press the button. That'll bring up things you can use. Oh. Uh, gems. After you collect nine of them, uh, provide you with another thing. Lamp makes the whole maze visible, which you can see anyway. Uh, potion recovers four to seven life points. So okay. you might try to do that. Oh, did you select it? Yeah. Okay, yep. The cross causes the wizard and bat to move as far away from you as they possibly can. But you're not really close. Okay, what am I supposed? To, what is my goal here? Uh, I read it out. Uh, find your way out of the dungeon um, as you discover pieces of the magical sword. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> the cross. Oh, the cross makes them move away from you. Oh, that's the same guy you fought before. So there's, get out. there's like hidden parts in in the maze where you run across it. Um, and you ran across the same spot that that spider was at. So you don't want to go. Yeah, where's the exit? There's no indicator. I know. Not the greatest. Um, let's see. Seven levels to the dungeon. 
rooms contain treasures that you see here, guarded by creatures. Those must be doors. Ah! Damn you, creature. Oh, behind one of the doors is a piece of the sword you need. So you have to go behind, go to those doors. I was trying to. Maybe you can't. Ugh. On some of them. Try the white one. Only one of these uh, oh, doors will provide your escape. All you have to do is find the right door. No, no, not those. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Did you actually die? No, I'm dead. Go get that wizard. Go get him. Stab him with your non-sword. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Very cool uh, skeletons. Apprentice. Yeah, because you don't have the sword yet. <laughs> bit more complicated of a game. A lot of uh, lot of stuff going on. It's trying. Yeah. The ring causes you to be invisible to the wizard bat monsters in the rooms. Oh my okay. god, this is horrible. Oh, you have to get keys to go in those doors. That's what it is. So you've got the white key and it'll allow you to go in the white door. This is horrible. I don't ah, like Pokemon. This at all. Because you can exit out of the corners. Back into the maze. Abstract is often mentioned for 2600 games. Yeah, this is uh, abstract. You have to use your imagination. It's like you can't move very fast either. It's, it's very... Actually, the movement is very much like ZPH the game. Where it's like pause, move, pause, move. Look at his arms flapping. He's he's scared. All right. Enough oh. of this. <laughs> well done. Not enough of this. Look at that happy frog. Oh, he's so happy to kill you. Um, next one is Artillery Artillery Magic Duel. Santa. <laughs> and I have this on the Xonox Double Ender. These are tight. Yeah. Oh, the Double Enders? Yeah. This is not even... There's a cat up Oh, to... what? It's Coleco. <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Nothing. That's what's going on. Nothing. So I have that for ColecoVision. <laughs> what is it again? Um, artillery duel. Mm. And when you look at it, you're like, okay. oh, this doesn't look like 1983. <laughs> this looks like 1981. You are very correct. There are chunky graphics happening here. I believe this is a two-player game. I'm maybe it's just one player. Maybe it's just one player. We'll see. Or maybe it's forced two players. So it's randomly generating the... Mm. The, uh... Press the button. Oh, is this demo? I don't know what's going on here. Press the button. No. Oh, there we go. Apparently game select starts the game. They're going against the grain. Uh, by Zonox uh, 6230, Michael Schwartz and David Thiel made this November 1983. So you set your angle, you watch the wind, you set your strength. Same old, same old kind of game. So wind is four to the right, power is 70. Oh, it's me. It's oh. my turn. Oh, you have to go left and right. That's terrible design. Mm. It's kind of like Worms, but a poorer version of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, way before Worms, obviously. Oh, yeah. but... oh. Oh, that's oh. trajectory. Oh, stop going up. There is gravity. We're not on the moon, are we? Oh, and you can't see it. They should have picked a different color. <laughs> Way less power for me next time. 
I lack the patience for these ones, Azura says. They they can be tedious. I mean, when you're playing with like four people, it's a lot more fun. And there's uh, different weapons as well. Like uh, the one we played for Atari 8-bit. That's good. Cool. My case. goodness, they're just like... A lot of power. I have to crank down the power on my shot. I definitely don't need that. Oh, oh, maybe. Yep. Mm, maybe a little too little power. Oh, just a little too Non-destructive play field, unfortunately. It's an option to blank up the screen to speed up the simulation. Yeah. Nope, 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 little shy. Power a little bit more. Because the wind affects it and the wind changes. It does, the time. yeah. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it does look good. Oh, down, oh, down, down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, I can get you if uh, I think we'll be able to get the time in. Way down on the power. Yeah, the colors are a bit bad on this. The graphics are pretty chunky. Oh! 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 oh just hit it! What? I have to be high and it has to yeah. curve more? Mm -hmm. I'm oh, more that? exposed then. I gotta go down a little bit. Yeah, you're in a bad... What? It shot through the walls on mine, though. That's interesting. So it ignores it for a bit. I think you might get me. Good. That was Winner! Good. You're more protected there too. I know, that's very unfair. But that's completely probably random. Oh. That sounds exactly like the sound. I mean it's a, it's it's a song. Yeah. It's a drum song. But for um Medieval Mayhem. Oh, it does. It's the same. Where the guy it's comes the out. same noise. It's definitely the same, same noise. noise. But it, there's only so many noises mm. in uh, the Atari 2600. If you use the defaults, yep. The drum cadence, yes. Is it to win towards? Oh, it is win towards me. Yeah, so you need mm. more power. In 13 seconds, get one more shot off. basic game it does what it does it's not great yep. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. simple simple uh next one is chuck norris super kicks oh my chuck the other norris. one on this um by zonox as well as you can see there would you like to start with this one uh sure you read it out so it's a terrible game i played it before the show uh you go up the path then you get an encounter. Robert Weatherby, also called Kung Fu Super Kicks Pursuit of the Ninja. You kick him in the head. Kick! Kick him in the head. It, it doesn't... Uh. It's not a karate kick. It's like a kick. Straight like kick. A yeah. straight kick, which is kind of hilarious. Or you can punch him. Show me the punch. Oh, my God. Or you can block. That is so, so funny. It's Actually, like... Ah. There, I kicked him off the screen. It's like he's kicking a barrel. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's not like a karate kick. It's like a kicking, <laughs> kicking a soccer ball or something. Uh. I wonder how much Chuck Norris got paid for this thing. Well, you know what? Good on Chuck Norris. Yeah. Work that brand. De defeat three guys, I think. Mm. One. <laughs> two. Three? No, more. No, no, three. That looks like kick puncher. Kick puncher. <laughs> Let's see how far I can get. Yay, I made it. Oh, they're throwing things at me already. 
Well, he's a he's a chunky ninja. Ugh, that one. He is. He's constantly punching. Oh. <gasps> Chuck Norris can't be defeated. What, no. what is this garbage? <laughs> okay, he's gonna throw something. I'll wait till he Danny, throws. Danny, see, I got this game on DE with Ghost Manor. A double ender, mm. like this, this one, where it's a, <laughs> nice. one on each side. Whoa, my God, he throws it at an angle. Now I'm gonna get him. Is he just threw something. Oh, what? Oh, uh, no. No. You don't die, you just lose time. God, Chuck Norris never dies. Chuck Norris does not die. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's all in the timing. You have to do it like well before they get there, but not too early. Oh. Wasn't uh, this game renamed? It was renamed to Kung Fu Super Kicks Pursuit of the Ninja. When, they're, uh, when their license ran out, I'm guessing, with, <laughs> with Chuck Norris. Probably. You would think they would get tired of constantly punching. It's like, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, I'm gonna try and punch. It's such... Oh, oh, okay, it's effective. Yeah, More okay. effective than the kicking? It seems that way, it's faster. Oh, Azur says, I had Spike's Peak with the Ghost Manor. Spike's Peak is better than this, in my opinion. It is, it's, it's still weird. We played it last show. Mm. Game. It's terrible. Oh. Ninja star to the chest. Yeah. I'm gonna try blocking. Ugh. One of those ninja stars. I just need to get away from them. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. I'm ready. Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> ah. It's so hard to do the timing. Block him. Maybe block him and then kick him. I don't know if you... No? Maybe. I can give it a try now. Let's see. The block would mess up the timing, because you block for a certain amount of time, mm. and that, it, that didn't even block him. Mm. 34 seconds of more kick puncher. Kick puncher. Oh, it's so hard. I mean, the graphics of the guys are pretty good. His beard graphic isn't prominent enough. That's why he can't. He can be knocked down. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's his strength in his hair. That's how it works. That's right. Oh my god. <laughs> These, the timing seems it's, really hard. It is really hard. Maybe once you play it a thousand times, you get better at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mario Bros. Mario, Mario Bros. B-R-O-S dot. Bros. Bros. Nintendo on Atari? What the hell? It's by Atari by Dan Hitchens, Mimi Naiden, CX2697, December 83. Hmm. It is. I guess I don't. Know. And for twenty six hundred, it's not bad. Good music. It it the looks slightly like. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You the know. turtles are pretty good. I mean, I think they're better looking than the original seven thousand eight hundred turtles, which had big floppy mouths. Fireballs look good. The coins are, you know, not bad representation as as flippy things. Because rather than use up, um, oh, get use up another sprite to flicker things. Oh, it gets up really fast. Yeah, it does. You don't have much time. Oh, nice coin level. The jumping onto the platforms is a little... Hanky? A little hanky. Nah. Because yeah. they have a very strange... Oh my god, that fireball <gasps> is like ready to just... Actually, the <gasps> crabs are really good. Oh. Can I make it? Oh, I just made it. Can I jump on the pal? Nope. 
That's one difference. Aren't the crabs really good? They are really good. Oh no! He was already... Oh my god. Now, you get him. I uh, get him. There we go. Teamwork. Ah! ah! Watch out for fireball. Ah! Nice. Oh, oh no. no! Full death. Oh my god. Ugh, one way or the other, I was gonna die. Uh, and it removes the score when somebody's. Yeah, apparently. Up there? No, no, I'm down below. Or you're down below. <gasps> oh, God. Is that crab what? was reset or something? Apparently so. Press button. Press button. Slow turtles. Got it. No, for the time, this is not terrible. It is adequate. It would be the term I would use. Very playable. Okay. Adequate. Wafers look the coolest back in the day. Oh, because the spinning. Yeah, actually it was kind of 3D. Not as good as Gonzo as pig in Pigs in Space. Oh, Gonzo was great. That was very 3D. Get that turtle. Get him. Do, 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 do. Ah! There, sorry. Got him. Get this guy. Do, do, do. I played this after playing NES Super Mario. Uh, it's always felt like a letdown. Well, yeah. After Super Mario in the NES? Yeah. Not even Mario. Or Mario. Yay! Yay, yay! What? What? It just keeps counting down. Guess so. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you're not out of time yet. It's like, yeah, but I got all the coins. Ah, oh, run away. There's a fireball run. Oh, oh he's coming oh, after I... me. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Run! <gasps> oh no! No! I always have a hard time with jumping off the edges of things. Yeah. Oh my god, he's a... Oh, he's so fast! He should be purple. Yeah, he should be. Oh, it shows lives for a second up there. Yeah, might as well use up the POW in the last couple seconds. Woo! Next one is Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's a Disney game. Mickey! Surprised they didn't put Disney's Sorcerer's Apprentice or Mickey's Sorcerer's Apprentice. They just called Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's very strange. Uh, this has pretty Ooh. good graphics, actually. Pretty Mickey. Yep. Okay, press Team the button. Mickey. Okay, shoot all the stars or catch them and you get good stuff. You catch them? Yeah, you catch the stars or uh, shoot those ones with the trails or shoot the small stars. Oh, you control it. Ah! And then you walk off the screen left or right to go to the other part of the game. When? Uh, whenever you like. Really? Yep. Funny. Kids game. Yep. There's no losing here. Uh, there is. Is there? Yeah. Here? Not in this level. The other one, the other part of it, there is. Oh, you can see the water level, I think, on the bottom there. Because you have to go uh, fight the mops. Oh, water level going up. Well, what what am I worried about? I think. Um, let me look at the uh, manual here. Go off the screen to left or right, and you go down and go get those mops. Get all the mops. The touch mops? them. Yep. All the mops. 
but not the ones at the bottom? Not the buckets. Oh, it's in mobs. It's hard. How many of them do I need to get? Oh, they keep coming forever. Oh. Or not. Um, clear a path for your empty buckets to climb up the stairs. Oh, oh. okay. Stop the brooms as quickly as possible. So the brooms are the things that are stopping the buckets. So you want to get them to the top. Yeah. And that brings the water level down. What? Yep. yep. Oh, gosh. So you can't let even one buy. Oh, my God. Just get them. Yay. I think it's kind of interesting, like, it plays a little more of the Sorcerer's Apprentice music when you collect things. Yeah. Uh, although it's just random. No, it, it does play, but it starts over very quickly. Oh, I think you're done on this yeah, level. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, it's very cute. It is. Each star that falls between the mountain peaks turns into a broom uh, with a water-filled bucket in the cavern. To prevent the cavern from flooding, catch stars with the sorcerer's magic hat, which Mickey is wearing. Uh, hit stars with the magic fireballs. Hit meteors with the fireballs. Each meteor you hit turns into two empty buckets that can bail out the water. So you want to hit those uh, meteors with, with um, your bullets. My comment was about the Mario Brothers game, but this game has music that kind of feel, feels weird, too. That serves me right for not paying attention. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it's weird how the music sounds like it fades out between rounds, like a low-effort attempt to play the ditty. <laughs> oh, so many buckets. Doing well. Keeping the water that. down. It's probably on the easiest level, ah, though. Oh, I fell off the edge! Oh, no. He looks sad. He's climbing slowly. Didn't know you could fall off the edge. Oh, I cleaned it. What? Yeah. Do you want to play any of this? It's kind of repetitive. <laughs> it's probably kind uh, of already lost, harder uh... levels. There. Game three. It's going nuts. Yeah. It's, it's cute. It's just... Oh, my God. Game three is... Oh, look at the water level. It's going insane. It's not even any buckets. Well, you didn't catch any any stars, oh. so you have to catch stars. With my hat. To get buckets. Interesting. Okay. It's kind of a grind, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty grindy. Yeah. I should have some buckets now. Oh, oh, it fell off the edge. Yeah, you have to be careful. Wow. And that one's done. Uh, cute, though. Cute. It's cute. Just kind of repetitive. Uh, next one's Mountain King. From CBS Electronics, which I have the card for. Oh, it's tight. I like that they sped up the music too. So what is this? Mountain King. By CBS Electronics. So you have to collect uh, a bunch of those gold things. Is up to 2,000, I think. What? And then you can start using your flashlight. Uh, over a thousand worth of diamonds. So you've got 250. What happened to them all? I oh, used my no, flashlight. The... Oh, don't use your flashlight. Yeah, I didn't realize that was the thing, so... Uh... Oh my god. What? Oh, okay. So you have to get a thousand diamonds, and then you get the fire at the bottom of the screen. Is that Falling's bad? fine. It's fine. You can go up the ladders, you can jump up. I find the look to this one really detailed and small, just because of the thin platforms and the very, like, small, elegant, like, diamonds you get, and the characters kind of outlined. This game is great once you know what to do. Oh, that didn't look good. Oh, you're almost at a thousand. I'm at a thousand. Okay, so you need to get the fire now, which is down at the... 
bottom. Oh, you can use your flashlight to find hidden treasure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it doesn't go down. No. No, it's fine. Object of the Mountain King is to capture the golden crown of the temple and carry it safely to the top of the mountain before your time expires or you are destroyed. You do need to go down. Oh. Just keep heading down, 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 down as much as you can. All the music it gets louder as you get closer. Ah. Oh, music cut out. There it is. Okay, so you gotta get up there. You can jump up. Ah! And decimated. What is that? What do I, I do know. there? The creature at the bottom of the mountain, I guess. Apparently, you can't hang out at the. Oh! Poisoned? Oh, no. Weird. You have one life. You need follow music. It gets louder as you get closer. Yep, one life. I guess you don't want to go down all Look the way to the bottom. Look for a flashing <laughs> dot. Hmm. We yeah, it's a problem when you play these games for five minutes. You don't have a ton of time to. No, you don't. Kittens. Good use use of music where it's getting louder where you need to go. I don't, we have definitely not played a game that, no. that uses music and sound in that way. Or there might have been some maze games where you can hear like like um, beeps and they get louder. But this one uses it to uh, a very different extent. I don't think you want to go right to the bottom. No, but I need to fall pretty quick. I don't have much time. I get to that... Uh, I definitely don't want to go right to the bottom. There's a green creature. Mm -hmm. Hey, pss, pss, pss. none of that. Naughties. Is he trying to chew? Yeah. Is it dinner time? Oh, you're not there yet, kittens. It's not dinner time. Still got time. Oh, I think that's the bottom. That is. Oh, I don't boy. know if there's an easy way back up. <gasps> oh. Can you jump up? Yep. Oh, I don't think you can avoid him. <laughs> I've got my flashlight. Kitten. Can you move? Out. No. No. You just found him sneak gets you. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Well, that's not that. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cool game. It is. I uh, we need to look into more of the play, so next one is Omega Race. Which we need to use this controller for. Mm. A ColecoVision controller. What? Yes. How does that work? Mm. Uh it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second why we need a ColecoVision controller. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm getting cat love. It says food. Yeah. Do you have food on your person that you could feed Some me right now? Food? He's in your spot. No. Not going to move. Oh, you're too old and lazy to move now, mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Oh, you're chonky. Okay. Uh, Omega Race by CBS Electronics. The last one was CBS as well by EF Dreyer, Ed Salvo. This one is by Alex Nevelson. Okay, one button is shoot, one button is accelerate. Shoot all the things. Shoot them all. Shoot all the things. Left and right to turn. Mm -hmm. Button to accelerate. Now, this one, you need, it came with a controller. It was a booster grip that went over top of your normal controller that made it into like a handle. This is the final show for 1983. We are finishing up. This is December 1983 we're already in. I might as well get those. They're not shooting at you. Um, came with a booster grip, um, which you attached your joystick into that gave you extra fire buttons. Um, there are various ways of 
like getting those extra fire buttons, but one of the simplest ways is con connecting a ColecoVision controller, where one of the buttons is the fire button and one of the buttons is accelerate. Oh my god. Now, the stupid or ironic. God, this is awful. The stupid or. Hey, don't it's do not... that to the controller. I will do what I need to to get it to actually move. No, that is a dead. modded controller. Don't wreck it. It's modded? One? Yes. Uh -huh. um, the stupid thing about this booster grip in the one game that uses it. Yeah. This game doesn't use up or down in it. Yeah. Up could have been accelerate, and they just wanted to sell an extra piece of plastic or something. Mm. It's ridiculous. No. Just crates. Oh, guys. Yeah, it looked like you did. No, no you, you did. Okay. okay, you just, just, just missed, him. missed him. Bounce on borders? Yep, yep, it's bouncy bouncy. Mm -hmm. Rack number two. Play this game. It's, it's okay. it's things moving around. It's a shooter, kind of a space space ish shooter. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it should kill you or spawn something. Yeah. It just seems to be an obstacle. The middle thing. Yeah. Just a something to get in your way so that you can't have oh. can't just fly around anywhere you want. Dave M. Arizona says, I've got one of those booster grips. They planned a second game for it, Wings, but it wasn't released. I mean, it's a good idea because it's like a, a joystick. Yeah. Um, like this, right? More of a flight joystick. A flight joystick. Yeah. And, and they could use all four directions with it, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it upsets the other directions and you can't use it because of the booster grip, but... It was definitely not essential in this game. Whether it was essential in their planned game... <laughs> RC70, are you making a joke about the TV show Wings? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Is it based off the TV show? Yeah. I did like that TV show. Yeah, there was a joke on like Family Guy or something. It's like where somebody didn't like wings and... and oh, yeah. Peter's like, it was on for like eight years. It was. It, it was, was on for... top rated show of all time, but I don't know anyone who ever talked about wings ever. It was kind of generic, but it was an enjoyable show. I remember yeah. watching it and it always played after Cheers, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. It was Cheers and Wings. Good lead out. So, so many people watched it, but probably because it was a lead out show, right? Um, yeah. I think it was Cheers. I think it was Cheers if it was oh, after, but... I definitely don't want this controller. I could be wrong about that, but it feels, that feels right, yeah. Next one is Tunnel Runner. There you go. Yeah. I watch it, but I don't remember a damn thing about it. <laughs> I know it was about pilots, and they were in Alaska? I don't remember oh, yeah. where they were, but it was a small airline. Yeah. Uh, December 1983, CBS Electronics, 4L252-5000. Do you know which one? Sorry, sorry. Tunnel Runner. Tunnel Runner, sorry. <laughs> uh, Richard K. Belaska Jr., Andy Frank, and Stuart Ross made this. Okay, you're in a maze. You are uh, the little guy in the bottom corner there. If you press the button, it goes to the overview map. Um, so you want to go to the wedge, I believe. And I think it automatically <gasps> runs. And then you just press left or right to turn. It's like Pac-Man. <gasps> what? No. 
very good 3D representation of uh, the maze with the different colored floors. Oh, close. Just have to turn right and then right again. There you go. Get that thing. Or press the button on it. No! Oh my god! And now I'm getting eaten. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you, you have to the push ball. the button on it. Uh, let me check. Yes, you do, because it certainly didn't pick it up. Oh, maybe I did get it. Oh, maybe you did. So Ultima it. Underword Vibes, yes. Oh, I see. You have to go uh, Right, You turn by changing directions. Uh, Ready yourself in the joystick. Yeah. Floors. Colored each. Color represents a room. Points are scored every time you run into a room for the first time within that run. Okay. Flashing four sections indicate the presence of one or four different type of escape doors. Okay. As soon as you're in the middle of the flashing floor, you're automatically stopped dead in your tracks. Then you look in all directions to find the escape door. Uh -huh. Turn around, run away. I supposed to escape so you need to find the flashing floors and it'll stop you in the middle of the flat there you go exit out there hey. <laughs> then you're in another tunnel no i'm in the same tunnel oh weird i'm trying to get out that side door i'm pretty sure oh dear god So there sh it stopped you, so turn left and right, and there should be a door out of there. No, it's just oh, a it's just teleporter. Uh, up and double doors. Oh, transporters. Uh, two, two arrows. Oh, that's a transport. So it, it teleports you to another part. Okay. Uh, let's see. A door with two arrows pointing up will send you into a run two levels higher. So you want to find one with two arrows up. Okay. Turn to left or right, and there should be... There you go. Yay! Yay! So one arrow up is what you, you go through one level. Two arrows up, you skip two levels. Cue the teleporter as a kill machine philosophy debate. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, yes, you kill a person in a teleporter. <laughs> Unless you're physically transporting each um, atom of the original person. Okay, next game. You made it to a level. Good. Is Subterranea by Imagic. Choke kittens. I need Mario a check mark. Because I think that's a good game. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Subterranea by Magic. December 1983 by Mark Klein, also known as Tarantula for some reason. Let's see if they. Oh, that's why. Okay, shoot all the things. Until something changes, and then you get to go down a level, and the floor opens up. There you go. 720 112-1A. Shoot all the things. It's Defender, kind of. Yep, you shoot all the things, then the floor opens up and you go down the door. Ah. Yep, no crush end. Probably stands still. Yeah. They move pretty fast. The good thing about it is if there's one on one level, there won't be another one on that level if you're chasing it, so you're safe. If you chase that guy to the left, yeah. that's the only thing that'll be on that level. Oh, okay, good. Now go find the exit. On the bottom. Can't shoot down. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Shoot that thing. Oh, go between it. There you go. When it's not zapping you. Very colorful enemies on this level. It doesn't look like in a magic game, does it? It's not as colorful as oh the other magic games. Is there ever a game that makes a spider the hero? No. Is there a game? Unless you're talking about like some kind of Charlotte's Web adaption. <laughs> now, there was a game that was rare, released the recently the on PS4 or Switch where you are the spider. Oh. And you can shoot your webs and go all over the place oh, in the game. So there is one. I can't remember the name of it, but it was just recently put on um, physical media. Oh, it. I guess the reason we forget things is we get older because we actually die more in various timelines. <laughs> and the restructuring into timelines we didn't die in isn't perfect, so we forget stuff. Well, that's, that's a theory. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Nice. So it's infinite. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty good. It's actually it pretty fun to play. Is it? Yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. You're welcome to have a go at it if you want. Well, there's a minute and a half left. Yeah. After you finish this level, I can. Uh, I don't know. It might take a while. It might take a minute and a half. Yeah. It's the last guy. Oh, get him, get him. There we go. My turn. No? No, I'm just finding the exit. I'm just playing some more. No. Nope. I'm just going to go through the exit for you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Pretty uh, fun. I guess it's the last. For this area, yeah. Oh. oh my god, it's the boss. Oh, no, it's the guy at the beginning. We're oh, starting in round one again. Oh. Oh, don't run into it. <laughs> what? I thought I was supposed to run into things. The graphics for the boss guy is, is super great. creepy. Very and creepy. Really good. Very creepy. Oh. Oh, he won. He's so happy. He's Look glowing. how happy he is. He's like a black cat. Dancing. Dancing black cat. Are you yes. dancing by a cat? Are you a bad are, are Oh, it's still at 29 seconds. What is this? So I made it down to the bottom to meet this guy's brother. Oh, this oh, it's much harder than this guy. Oh, stay on one side, wait till he launches, and then go to the other side. You just run into it. Oh. Over and over again? Yeah. It's like, open the door. Oh, good sound effects. Yes, yeah, it's not. It's not bad. I I like this game a lot. Actually, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. It it's a shooter. Fun. It's like defender. And there's a boss in the game. That's unusual, actually. Kind of, a, and the boss is at the start. Yeah. It's the starting boss. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I'll put a check mark. I I I, I would 100% check mark that. That I'm I'm enjoying the different phases of the gameplay too. Next one is He-Man. He-Man. Masters of the universe. And the masters of the universe. Where's She-Ra? No She-Ra. <gasps> I'm sorry. Uh. Okay. Object of the game is score as many points while guiding He-Man to battle against his evil foes. During the first ma half of the game, controls his trusty Wind Raider. I believe this one is very rare, this game. Really? Yeah. Or maybe it's for the Intellivision. Look at this! Stop it. Stop it. Oh, good music. Wow. Two-tone. Wow. Oh, you have this card? Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's the Intellivision version that's super rare. This game takes a paddle and a joystick or something dumb, I think, says I've oh, seen it. <laughs> uh, I don't have notes. Let's see. No, it doesn't say anything about a... that. Can you move? Oh, you've got to change the difficulty. Oh. Got to set it to A. Both? Okay. Thank you, Metal Lunar. They're both set to A now. Oh, ninjas throwing knives, two different oh. bullets. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh, it, I can shoot. That thing's indestructible. What is going on? What is going on? 
Push left to move left, right to right, uh, forward to move. He meant up, then down. I need down. you to reset it. Uh, uh, A is for beginners. Oh my god. Break difficulty switch freezes the action. Okay. Oh, is, you get one shot down? What is going on? You can't outrun it. It's weird. Uh, oh my god. I'm dead. Well, arrow that says 30 both ways. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, you just. How did I shoot down? How did I do that? I don't know. Maybe only get one of those. See, I'm not shooting right now. What, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> How is it shooting down? Like, you can't shoot, and then you can shoot when the flying thing isn't there. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, but if you move backwards, it just hits you. You just fly past it real quick. No. Oh, he shoots you. There you go. Oh, oh, he stunned it. Oh, you're totally missing it. You can't, you can't. I'm gonna fly past it. Oh, too slow. No, it's not too slow. You give it a try. <laughs> Super weird. You have to keep moving. Jeez, I didn't have this much trouble as a kid. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah, you have to keep moving. 27. 26. It goes right for you. It's weird. Weird movement. Like... It doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make sense, no. Like things are tracking you. Yeah. That's it. As soon oh, we'll as you kill the spinning thing, drop the bomb, yeah, but you have to be above him to do that, and he shoots you. There we there go. There you go. Oh, he oh, falls, he falls in. in the hole. Oh, that's good. There it is, fall in the hole. Oh, <laughs> There's your hole. Oh, that's much easier. No, it's not. Okay, shoot a spit. I'll have to go two of them this time. And does that look like He-Man? No. Drop your bomb. This is reverse laser blast. Yes, it is. Drop the bomb. Before you... Throw another spinning bone at me. Oh my god. Oh, I missed it. Drop bomb! Get in there! Oh, he got me just before. Go in the hole. Party time for kittens! Party time for kittens! Cats, 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 cats. Hi. They're like, we know that's not the bell, but we know but that is, is something important. Oh, he's a squeaky cat. They they get it. They get they it. They do. Now, are you going to like... Hmm? Oh. I want to make it the end of this. Okay. Honestly. Okay. So, who wants some kitty fun times? Here's some cat... Nap Oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, 14 to go. 13. I think I'm just yeah, I can. Are you going to try some Atari? He doesn't seem, he's like a little curious. He didn't show much interest. He's like, that's not treats. Oh, I prefer cat candy. I'm still crying. Oh. Where's my cat candy? Nine. Who, who triggered it? Did you thank them? Go for man ninety six. Thank, thank you, you so much. Man 96. No. <laughs> I can overlook uh. the ponytail, but I can't get past the speedboat pooping on people. <laughs> it's very odd. It's not a good game. Metal Lunar 7. We won't get to see the fight with Skeletor. <laughs> no, we won't. Not Just... quite sure why he has a Steven Seagal ponytail. <laughs>
Just like Stets Fix says, stupid game. Stupid game. Stupid game. <gasps> British accent. Yep. Uh, How's it going, kitties? Atari, you should try some. No, Atari is trying some. No, I'm not Atari, sir. Pit Sprite. Sprite. Come here. Try some. Here. Pushing drugs on the cats. Oh, I just. Oh, they're out of frame. He doesn't. No. You have to use two dishes. Uh, he's no. just not interested. He's not that interested. But some cats, when they're kittens, they're not. And then as they get older, they get more interested in uh, cat. Now. I don't think Atari was interested when he was a kitten either. No, no. No. And then he started going nuts. Like, <laughs> he does like his catnip. You'd think a diet Conan the Barbarian game would be more about swords and magic. Yeah, not shooting yeah. from a ship. I think it'd be... Yeah! yeah. Swords. Yeah, not another shooter, a ship shooter. Yeah. Okay, we're on to the next game while the cat gets high. Yeah. <laughs> Congo Bongo, second to last game. I do have the cartridge for Congo Bongo. Oh, you use the sword against Skeletor in the second part, Metal okay. Lunar says. Metal well, Lunar, you sound like you know that game pretty well. <laughs> Come on. RC70. All my three cats start with an S, so I call every one of them two wrong names before I get the right one. Yeah. Okay, ready? This is an isometric game. Uh, it's crazy that somebody tried to port this to the 2600. But they did. And actually, um, Splendid Nut is trying to port this as well again. You have to uh, go around that way. Yep. Jump that river. And jump those monkeys. Watch out for the monkeys. Get across the river. I think you have to jump it. And then get up to that monkey. There you go. Go all the way. Yay! I feel like this is a non dying. Yeah, In a tele mode, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, to jump nope. That's, on, that's death. Jump on those hippos. Hippos? Yep, jump on the hippo. Oh, careful. Mm. Slippery, slippery hippo. Did it jump on them? Yep. And then get up to the next part. Oh, too far. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's sensitive game. Oh, still on the cat cam. Oh, God, you can see the tiny. Yeah, he's a happy Atari. Oh, cleared it. Oh, he's licking it clean now. Happy rolling Happy cat. Look at those waves. Those are actually really good waves. Uh, I was hoping for some hilarious Atari reactions to the catnip. I was not disappointed. Oh, yeah. He nope. loves it. Oh, good morning, Thrust26. Good morning, Thrust. Thomas. We're second to last game in 1983. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Oh, I, I didn't get hit either. It seemed like it, nothing was really hitting me on this first level. Monkeys. Think of the real game they get on your head. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Fell down. No! I did not enjoy this game uh, in the arcade. At all. No. It's just so weird. Yeah, it, it is. It's like it almost kind of wants to be Frogger and Donkey Kong at the same time. Don't fall down. That's a good graphic. That I mean, it's not very colorful, but the the big bad guy is is pretty cool looking. RC seventy. Oh God, it's one thirty eight. Oh my God, RC seventy. I hope you don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> or get up too early. Get on the whales. The Coverman said, RC seventy. Ha ha. I just had one of those moments a few minutes ago. <laughs> I did it. Yay! Oh, light him on fire. Light that poor monkey on fire. Oh my God. <gasps> That's terrible animal abuse. That is animal abuse. All he was doing. Yeah, he made it to level two. Such a janky game. Yeah, it is a it's weird game. So That's weird. gruesome, sister. Sir. I know. It is. Seems so cruel, doesn't it? So cruel. I always found this game super janky. Even the arcade. It is weird. So I, I weird. it's it's I don't know. I don't think you've, if Do you... people like this game? I'm just curious. It's 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 not like a terrible game, but I don't I mean, the graphics in the arcade were really were good. Were they better? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
come on, I jumped. Are those monkey skulls? <laughs> monkey skulls? It's a mashup of several games. Yeah. Are, yeah. It kind of is. Frogger and Donkey Kong ish. Like Frogger 2 as well. Oh! We started this halfway through. Uh, What's up, baby? So we'll go to the next one. I think you saw it. I played a whole level. It just repeats and gets harder. Not really. Oh, monkeys. I'm going to try and get a monkey Moves on my head. faster when on A. See? Monkeys on my head. Ah, monkey on my head. Ah. <laughs> get off, monkey. <laughs> so silly. This game is so silly. Say Donkey Kong and Frogger, as you say, but mixing Crystal oh, Castles without a. the dots. Yeah. They are still on A. Mm. Because um, the other game, yeah. where you have to play it on A. The C64 disc version. Oh, sorry for my own. Uh, with all the levels, it's pretty fun, I think. But yeah, it's a bunch of different games smashed together and not as good as what it copies. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Well, it's hard to replicate this one because of the com how complicated it mm. looks in the arcade. Oh, the cats are getting hungies. Yeah, it, it, it's not very um, precise with the jumping, which is no. kind of irritates me. It's like Frogger, it's, it's very precise. Yes. Works really well. Yeah, Frogger works really well. Oh, Monkey's just sitting in his chair, and I just light him on fire. He didn't want you there. No, he's... You're on his territory. Exactly. I'm in the jungle. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This no. is his land. It's his, it's his territory. As it is with most <laughs> most games, you're the invader. Yeah. Casting you in a good light. Oh, monkeys. Oh, the monkeys. Oh, that's interesting. Two objects displayed using alter alternate alternated line scan lines instead of flickering. Oh, nice. Yeah, the waves are really good in this. Yeah. They're done by um, Playfield. Just Are nice. Uh, uh, can, can you I jump do over? A, oh, I can do a diagonal jump. That's unique. Oh, you're so slow. Oh my god. And the, the moving away of the level is actually pretty cool. I mean, there's. It's a hard game to replicate. So. Okay. Another nice try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're on to the last game of 1983 now. Okay. In two seconds. The last game. Wow. Made it through. Six sessions. Yeah. How many games? Oh, 200 something. Insane. 1983 was the time for Atari games. It was. So many. So what is the last one on our list today? Minor 2049er part two. See if it's any better than the first one. Better graphics. Wanna do it? It's a platformer. Oh, oh. What did you do? There you go. No music? Oh, music's gone. Okay, this. See how janky this one is. Might as well complete this area here. See how precision jumping this one is, too. Is that song and something else? Uh, pressure cooker or no pressure cooker? Uh, sounds like a um, Frogger. Frogger, that's it. Thank you. Oh, I think I. No. Nope, I thought this one had a middle platform bug. Hmm. So far, so good. Oh, oh. Get them. <gasps> and death. Damn it. And start over again, just like the first one. Of course. I was able to get on the middle platform fine mm -hmm. and, and make it over there, so I want to jump as far over as well. And then you stop, and then you press the button, and then you can move again. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. Can I get both? Can I get both? Come on, go up the ladder! Okay. Get there. Good there. Oh, What's do I have that to thing? go back? Or Don't is that, that flip thing? something? Oh, it must flip the um, the platform to go to raise up. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. Or not. Oh, now I have to go back on the platform and Can go up. Can you raise up. it? Yes, that's what it is. 
Trey guy says, hey, people on zero page, hey, people who need one more cycle to fetch the address. <laughs> hey, people who need one more cycle. <laughs> yep. Thank we you. don't need that extra cycle. No, who needs We're addressing zero cycles. page. Funny. Oh, now I have... Oh, my God. Okay. So I only have one more thing to use to get rid of these guys. I should use it on these two here. And this one, because that's it's going to be the hardest one. The guy over there, I can jump over. Mm. As long as I don't die, I won't have to do that whole level over again. Yes, sir? The What's up, baby? Is... No! Kittens! I think you can Kittens. only get one block as you slide down, though. Okay. Actually, oh, I should be able to walk over this, shouldn't I? Because that's yeah. not going to slide me down. Nope. There we go. Yeah, okay. Um, Thrust26 says, okay, now it is decided. It must have been <laughs> minor 2049 or volume 2 which caused the crash. I think it is. Yeah? Yeah. That's, that's the oh, he's deciding vicious. factor. It was like, oh, December, this comes out, and then that's it. That's the whole shebang. Everything crashed because of this game. It's people getting frustrated. Yeah. I mean, I, once you're good at it, I can see it. Like, you can do okay at it. It's just knowing all the little kittens. He's hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> He's 15 minutes away from dinner, so it's not like... You don't have to have dinner right now. That's pretty cool in a game, though. I like that. I, I, I agree with you. Moving platform goes up, down, left, and That's right. That's kind of exciting. Okay. Stop. There we go. <laughs> that is. I think I have to jump on... Jump across. Oh, I have to jump have across to, anyway. You fill that whole, it fill that all that level. Yeah. And then, then take the far. No, what are you doing? Well, I'm gonna get rid of these guys right now. It's really needed play testing with a focus group. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. It's not like the animation of the dude could be better. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I can jump over that guy. No? It's gonna be so tight. I thought it was... Okay. I think you can. No, because I got pretty close. Not close enough, yeah. but I didn't even come close to but you... landing on the other side of him. Yeah. Committed enough to make a sequel, yeah. Alright! We're done, 1983! 1983! Um, so... I only have two that I checked off here, which is not great. Really? A lot of them were good, uh, but the ones I checked off were Mario Brothers and Subterranea, and both of those were like, they're okay. So what did That's I best, enjoy? Best of today, I think. Subterranea, what is it, Subterranea was excellent. That was high up there. Yep. Um, Thank you, Dan. The party mix was pretty good. As a four-player game, I, yeah. I all of those games were kind of fun. I I kind of like the party mix. That surprised me. Star Path Supercharger three cassette game. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the Star Trek one was bad either. It's fine. Yeah. I yeah. kind of enjoyed it. It was uh, pretty easy to pick up and play. If the Star Wars had more room in the intro to move around, I hard. think it would be a lot better. It had like a bit more just complexity squished though. Squish the top of yeah. it and opened up the bottom would be, I I would give that a check mark. But yeah, it's just too squished and you die too easily. On I the like bottom. Star Trek. Yeah, I think those those kind of were my highlights. I like that party mix. I thought all yeah. those games were super super fun. Especially I like games the two like player that. where you had to cooperate with the paddle going back and forth. It's so that creative. That was unique. And the tug of war was really fun too. Slam on the button. That <laughs> <laughs> was. Yeah, not um, bad. I think not Mountain bad. King I would like more if I played it more to the end and, and understood more of it. Yeah. Because it had good mechanics and great graphics. Yeah. Uh, what I would say about this batch is it had a lot of good graphics. Oh, yeah. The like, graphics were up here. Yeah. Um, compared to early games, yeah. for sure. Really good graphics. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Um, Bump and Jump was not too bad, except it was a very repeaty, like the 
The, Fun to play though. The levels look the same. It's just a road and then there's some water and a road and the mm. road's straight. Survival Island could be good. We didn't make it very far um, because it has three it parts to really it. It looks really good. Oh, yeah, it I agree. Amazing. Atari 2600. Um, yeah. Mount King is great. We'll take your yeah. word for it. Uh, like Star Wars Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. Yeah, I did like it too. Just that first part is too small. Too small to move around. You just die too easily. Yeah, I agree with that too. <laughs> okay, so that's it for 83. Um, we have two more days uh, to take us from 84 to 92. There's only 90 games left that's in insane. that block. That's insane. Yeah, because of the crash, not many people wanted to put out games because so they, they, they didn't make any stopped. money. Yeah. Um, so after this, you'll only see like big names like Atari and mm. Activision and games like that. Subterranean is super fun. One of the priciest ga Atari games I own, and I don't regret it a bit. Yeah, wow. yeah. It is good. It is a good game. A lot of firsts on the Atari. Yeah. Um, yeah, we saw a lot of unique stuff today. 45 games a show? Yeah, it's going to be big like ones. That. Yeah. It's going to be big, <laughs> big shows. Four and a half hours each show? Yeah. Oh, boy. But it's the wrap-up, <laughs> so you got to go out with a big bang. True, true. Um... Let's see what else is coming up uh, on the stream. Uh, we're going to be going away for a little bit. Let's get this down. Um, let's see. Okay, so today we did those. And day 12 of, of a classic gaming countdown. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we're away for <laughs> two weeks at Burning Man. Um, these are just placeholders. I don't know when we're going to play. There's a whole bunch of Atari 8-bit games coming out. Um, so I think I'll be able to build up an Atari 8-bit day pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And by the time I get back, I think there'll be a 2600. But the first, we'll be doing two After Darks on the, or the 10th and the 11th. So 84 to 85 on the 10th, 86 to 92 on the 11th, mm. and that'll wrap it up. That'll be, we'll be doing uh, 10 a.m. shows, maybe, mm. to get it done. Be I early. don't know. We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. We'll figure it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if we will actually do a show before those, because mm. we'll be kind of recuperating from and our vacation. And trying to clean up and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. 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 There, uh, there was a few more PAL games only in this period. Yeah, we played those early because I didn't have dates for those. PAL only game yeah, games. PAL yeah, PAL only. Yeah. Yep. Um, then we have the Atari Lynx special. The parts that I need are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> are in BC now. Okay. Uh, let me check on the update. They just got in today. Oh, the item has been processed in Burnaby. Excellent. <laughs> so it might actually come before I leave, which would be perfect well, because be I good. can confirm that we're going to do the Atari Link special as long as everything works, all the hardware works. Good. Um, and we're playing a whole bunch of uh, Atari Lynx homebrew. That's cool. Because we have a consoleized very cool Atari Lynx. Woo! Um, very very nice. Thanks to Atari Gamer. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. Oh, the alarm. Is that alarm sound sourced from the Draconian Extra Life sound? Uh, it's just a web page. So, Aye. no. <laughs> it does, <laughs> does sound like that. Uh, so, thank you for tuning in to the end of 1983. 83 is now over. Yes. <laughs> now we can move on to 84. Atari's now on the decline. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Downhill. Yeah. Yeah. Far now we get forward. all the silver box games. Silver box games. Uh, the reissued silver box nice. games. 83 was a big year. Huge. It was the biggest <laughs> year yeah. for 2600. Lots of great games. Oh, sad. Oh. 83 is over. So thanks for tuning in. Trey Guy, Metal Lunar 7, RC70, Atari 2600, Dude Thrust 26. Good morning. Yes. Azure 6502, Gopher Man 96, Atari 2600, Dude. I already said that. Dan AVC, Metal Lunar 7, um. Vitoko, Gopher Man. Um, who else? Who else? Who else is on the chat? Dave M. Um, MK Smith. MK Smith. Oh, just yeah, hanging in the there. Yeah, and if you haven't said Vitoko. I 
think. Yeah, I did. And that's the chat. Woo! Thank you, everyone, for joining for a long Whoa. stream. Yes, made it through 83. Yay! So we're very close to finishing 90 more games. 90 approximately. Mm. I still have to go through them, make sure they're not doubles and renames of other games, mm. but it's around 90. Um, so that's it for the night. That's it for us for about two weeks. Yeah. Almost three weeks. So hopefully you guys don't explode while we're away. Um, <laughs> um, and then it's really close to PRG after that. Yeah, I like, guess so. We're like almost month a month fish away. Yeah, yeah. A month yeah. after that, because it's in October. Yes. Mid mid October. Mm -hmm. So by the time we get it back, it'll be a month and a half. So that's uh, that's something to look forward to as well. We'll Absolutely. be there, and a lot of people from Atari Age that we know are going to be there. I'm excited. It's a I'm huge excited. Huge list that I've been keeping track of. Of of all the people who are coming. So we'll have to meet all of you. We'll go out for dinner or something. We'll have a meet up on one night. A meet up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure Friday a or good Saturday night. night we'll yeah. do that, or even Thursday night. It depends how early depends people, get, people get, there. get there. I mean, Friday is kind of a good night because there's not a lot happening. People go and play yes, games. Yes, it's just the arcade on just Friday. Just the arcade on Friday. So, so that, that would be a, a good very night. good night. We yeah. can all meet like at in the arcade area and then go off from there or something. Or find or find a yeah a place to. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's what wait a ways off. Stuff. It's a ways off, but yep. we'll figure something out. So thanks for hanging out with us again. Yeah. And uh, this goodbye for a couple of weeks. Yeah. So. Um, have fun with the rest of your summer. Relax or work hard or <laughs> have some have some fun at least. Yeah. Play some Atari games for us <laughs> while we're away. Play some homebrew. And uh, we're there. Oh, MK Smith is there from Thursday morning. I think at least most people will be there Friday night. I would think. Yes. Yeah. So I think Friday is good. Friday and then, might I know be a lot time. of people are helping set up. Yeah. Um, Al will be there to help set up Al on Thursday as well. Yeah. Um, some people are helping tearing down. We can't. Unfortunately, we have to leave Saturday. Yeah. Sun Sunday? Sunday? Sunday morning. Sunday so, morning. unfortunately, we're not staying all day Sunday for we, all day We'll Sunday. be there very early Sunday morning for just a bit, and then we have then to we drive have to, back home because yeah. we have a concert to go to. Yeah, something, something that else. That we have bought amazing. tickets for. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's it. Um, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.